lay salatu wasalam. Through him, we have come to be more steadfast on the path of Islam. We pray Allah to continue his blessings on him and on all his khilafah. Amen. So I want to welcome everyone here again to this August gathering by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will start the program without any delay with recitation from the Holy Quran by Sister Nafisa. Okay. Before starting, I want to recognize the presence of our Sajam, Lajno Ima Ilan, in the cousin of Ajia Taufiko Adiruju Fakolade. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, ma. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakullah haira. I also welcome everybody to this program. May Almighty Allah accept it as better from all of us. I also want to recognize the presence of the Naif Sadar one, Sister Wakila Sanusi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Also, I could say uh, former Sadar, Dr. Mrs. Ziko, she is here with us and also so many other dignitaries. I want to welcome everyone again by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I have the honor of inviting Sister Nafisa Oke from Region 7 to give us presentation from the Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am going to read the um, Quran chapter 55. Ar Rahman. Audu billahi min ashaytani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Ar Rahman. Allama al-Qur'an Khalaq al-Insan Allama al-Bayan Al-Shamsu wal-Qamaru bi-Husban Wal-Najm wal-Shajaru yasjudan والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تتغوا في الميزان وقيم الوزن بالقسط ولا تختر الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو الأصف والريهان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخان وخلق الجن من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم مني in the name of Allah the gracious the merciful it is God the gracious who has taught the Quran. He has created man. He has taught him plain speech. The sun and the moon run their courses according to a fixed reckoning. And the stimless plants and the trees humbly submit to his will. And the heaven he has raised high and set up a measure that you may not transgress the measure. 
So weigh all things in justice and fall not short of the measure. And he has set the earth for his creatures. Therein are all kinds of fruits and palm trees with sheaths, and grains with its husk and pregnant plants. Which then of the favors of your Lord will you de deny, O men and jinn? He created man from dry ringing clay, which is like big pottery. And the gene he created from the flame of fire. Which then of the favors of your Lord will time deny? Sadakallah al Azim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Quran chapter 55, verse 1 to 17. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jaza from Love Hiron Jaza to our sister, Sister Nafisa Toje from Region 7. May Allah bless you with the blessings of the Quran and lighten your path with the light of the Quran. So the next thing is the chanting of Kosida. This is to be done by Sister Mali Giwa Uzin Atiyat from Region 5.
Oh, handsome young man, how can the elegance of your beauty and its refined grace be fully described? You are the one whose fragrance captivates the heart like the scent of a fragrant plant. The presence of Allah, the protector, is reflected in the blessed face of the Holy Prophet and his entire manner and moral conduct sparkles with the same characteristics magnificence. So it is for this reason that he is loved so much and his spiritual grace and beauty deserves that he alone should be adored with all devotion, excluding the group of all other friends. He has great moral qualities and he is of noble conduct, bountiful and a friend of those who are God-fearing. He is exceedingly generous and he has surpassed the whole contingent of charitable young men. The Holy Prophet of Islam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, possesses superiority over operation. Due to his spiritual excellence, his elegance and grace and his majesty, and his ever fresh and spiritual refreshing heart and soul. No doubt it is Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is the best of all creation, and he is the essence and vital force of the elect of God. All noble qualities pertaining to every kind of superiority have reached perfection in him. And also the spiritual bodies of all times have reached the climax in him. And Allah will now grant this only to those who truly follow him. By Allah, the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is certainly like the prime minister in his spiritual relation to Almighty God. And it is through him alone that there can be access for everyone to the threshold of the kingdom. Almighty God. He is the pride of every purified and holy person, and the spiritual truth of Allah also cherish him and take pride in him. He is preferred over everyone who is front ranking and has achieved nearness to Allah. And remember that excellence of spiritual rank is best of virtues, not because parity in time. Just like a drizzle caught before a torrential rain. For a drizzle is nothing more than just a drizzle. It is certainly not comparable to the Torah The Prophet ﷺ is a unique champion, a skilled hacker, whose arrows never miss the target. In fact, he shoots his arrows right on target and he is a destroyer of Satan. He's like a splendid spiritual garden, and I clearly see that its fruits in the form of branches have been made closer to my heart. I found him to be the ocean of truth and guidance, and I saw him sparkle like fear. No doubt of that Isa died a quiet moment death, but our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is spiritually alive, and by God, he has made me a magician. I swear by Allah that I indeed witnessed his beauty because I saw him with my own eyes while he was seated in my house. Hark, if you think that Hazrat Isha is still alive, then it is your responsibility to prove that he's still alive with the conclusion has him. Have you ever met Hazrat Masi while you were awake, or has anyone informed you about being Hazrat Masi Isha while awake? Read the Holy Quran carefully and see for yourselves how clearly you state the fact of Hazrat Masi Isha's death. Despite that, do you turn away in disregard from the guidance given to you by the gracious Allah? You must realize that a never-ending life can certainly not be proven by any human being. In fact, it is true that Hazrat Isa did die like a mortal human being. But our Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is spiritually alive. And of course, I stand witness to it. And I have surely benefited from the fruits of meeting him. I had earlier seen his blessed face in my adolescence. Later on, the Prophet Sallallahu graced me with the opportunity when he met me while I was awake. Indeed, I have come to life too to his life giving touch. Bravo, what a miracle. How perfectly he brought me to his spiritual life. Oh, my Lord, show all your eternal blessings in the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in this life as well as in this life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to say Jazakullah Khairan Jazak to Sister Molly Biwa Hussein Hatia for that beautiful rendition of the Kofrika. May Allah continue to show her his blessings on the noblest of mankind, Muhammad Rasulullah upon all his household and his companions. And may he show his blessing on the Imam of the age. 
Hazrat Mizra Ghulam Hamad, Ali Salat Wasalam, and upon every one of us that has followed, that has followed his guidance since the day of Yawmah the Kiyama. My proposal was the president, I said that one little And she was a the next thing on the agenda is the Lagino pledge. I want to humbly call on the Sada Lajino Yima Ilai Nigeria in the person of Ajia Taufiko Adiruju Fakolade to lead us in the Lajino pledge. Yeah. Let us all rise up for Lajina pledge wherever we are. Ashadu Allah Ilaha Ilahu. Wadahu, La Sharika Law, Washadu, Mohammedan, Abu, I do. I Muhammadan Abduhu Warosulu. I bear witness that none deserve to be worshipped except Allah. He is alone without any partner. And I also bear witness that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a servant and his messenger. I solemnly affirm that I shall always be ready to sacrifice my life, property, time and children for the cause of faith and the community. I shall always adhere to truth and shall always be prepared to make every sacrifice for the perpetuation of the Ahmadiyya Khilafah. Inshallah, there is it. Jazakumullah khaira. I hope we all heard me. I hope everybody had me. Let's all be sitting. Jazakumullah. We now hand over the program to the Southern all respect. The next thing is the Shellman Oakley speech, which is to be delivered by the Sadar, like you know, in my life, Nigeria. Silent prayer. Uh, uh, Silent what? prayer. Yes, uh, ma'am. The silent prayer is to be done by NS1. Nice, Sadar Ram. That's what I call that's why I come to the other academy. Let's recite Surah to Fatia Wadaru. Surah to Fatia Wadaru. 
to yeah. my bonus. <laughs> Rabbana tokabal mina inna ka anta zemi dua. Amin. Amin. Jazakum wa khairama. Um, I think the next thing is for me to deliver my address. And it goes us. So before I do that, I want to seek the indulgence of the organizers of this program. Because according to the time I have there, I have just five minutes to to do whatever I want to do. But somehow what I'm going to say is going to take more than five minutes. So kindly bear with me. No I'm about if I was a bit like me, not shy, Tony Rogin, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. The title of my speech today is Saving Tomorrow with the Attitude of Today. If we look at it very well, we'll know that it's somehow offline with what we have to discuss today. But the reason why I brought this one up is that there are so many things that are happening around us that we need to rise up to the occasion in order to save ourselves. So I go ahead to, the, to, to read through the speech. Bismillah rahman rahim In today's war, people are abandoning faith and denying the existence of God at an alarming rate. The healthy relationship that's supposed to exist between parents and children are being dismantled by the harmful effect of the social media and the internet. Parents are neglecting their children's moral education while children are also increasingly vulnerable to the evil advice and representation of their observation, which further distance them from their much needed parental attention. It is worrisome to note that we Muslims and our children are also being influenced by this view. But Ahmadi parents should note that we have the greatest responsibility to safeguard ourselves against the negative influences of society and do the same for our children. The moral and spiritual survival of the next generation depends on our practical examples and efforts if we do not present ourselves as good role models at home, then the safety and security of the next generation cannot be guaranteed. At this moment, at this moment of global unrest and rising tensions between civilians and governments, a period when children query the values being passed to them by their parents, the sermon or sayings of Asrat Amiru Muminim, becomes all the more important and merits serious consideration. Hence, as Hamadis, we must always endeavor to listen, watch our beloved Uzo Salmon. On the 6th of March, 2022, in a virtual mulakat with the Hudamud Madia, USA, our beloved Uzo said, the glasses of the time always guides you according to the teachings of the Holy Quran. And once it gives directly our guidance to you according to the or, gui or guidance to you according to the Quran, then you don't have any excuse to disobey. Likewise, on 7th October 2021, 
while guiding the National Amila of Finland in a virtual meeting, Azrat Khalifa to Masi, I had a lot of Allah and Nazim say, and I quote, do not lose your own children while attempting to reform others. That's <laughs> At the latest session during the UK just south, November 2017, His Holiness Awa spoke extensively on how we can safeguard our faith in a society where God has been abandoned in a lecture titled Preparing for Tomorrow, Raising Pious Children. Ari pe ni a ujo wa ni isin, okolopo ile ni o si dojude, okolopo awon mo ni won si pa Olorun oba ti, ti won mo pe Olorun oba nbe ati pe Olorun oba lo ye ki won gbe kele, nipa wi pe awon obi nse ti won loto, awon mo na si nse ti won loto. O wa je nkan ibanu je lo je pe bi o se nsele ni awujo wa ni awujo apapo, be na lo nsele ni ile awa ti aje muslimi, ni pataki awa ti aje amadia. Mwa wipe ati kwe bo bonto ye kama ashe, bo ju yipe ki ama bo awan oro. Kama bo awan oro, kasi ma wwe ishe nti alifa awa, si awa wani wabe abrada awan, lo ye kama bo kasi ma mwa amushye. Gege bi awan alifa awa she mba wa solo rekore, ni kwa awan ipade ti mwan she ka kiri kwe lwa awan yon, tosi ye ki ama bo. Ni nu ipade konti mwan she ni Ojo ke fa o shukè ta, o nou ti a wa yi. Mwan she la la e ikwe, ali fa o, bo bo a wong ro, ti wong so, inu alu kurani ni ti wong ti mwong jade. Ti ba ti bo bo a basi ni ba bo e ikwe alu kurani ni o jye e ikwe to son nan nan. Bo bo a pata pata la gbo do ma gbo a la ye, ta se ma mwa a mwong she a wong a la ye, ti wong she fong a la ti nwe. Mwan she wong so ni, o nou ti o kwa jya kwe lu, a wong kwa ti wong ba she e ikwa de kwa po, a wong a ra Finland. Nti ali fa wong so ni ikwe, Ako bodo jia tu pa, ton ton an fwo me lo mi, ti o jia ikwe ko ri nan ri diare. A si ikwe ili ni a ti nka shoro de, bi a shen ta wwa mwa lo mwa lo sonan. O ye ki a mwa ikwe a wwa mwa nan wwa she pataki. Fwo yi to sonan wwa, kama shoro yi o lori, kama ki a wwa di baba ikwe ti wwa lo. I di e yi ni mwa she wwa lo si nou a wwa oro ti wwa ba a wwa la jina so, ni yodun 2017, ni kwa ti wwa she jasa UK. Mwa wwa she a kole, a Oronon, mwa she ni, mwa so yi pe, kwi pale, mwa fwo o la, la si ma, ki a ma, raising pile student, ki a jye yi pe, a mwa mwa wa, a mwa mwa la lo barika ni, a mwa mwa to, a mwa mwa ti mwa mwa anyo, ti mwa mwa anyo ju, to ye ka mwa to, fwo en yo la wa. Mwa bere, ito so nwa mwa nwa kwe lu aya al koreyan, si o ka ba yi pe, Bad house with lime no share Tony Rojim. This is Lai Rahmani Rojim. Yeah, you are Ladina Amanu. Tako la ha wata nzoro nafsen ma koda masli gade. Watako la ino la ha habiru mbi mota amanu. Meaning, all you will believe, fear Allah, and let every soul look to what it sends for for the morrow. And fear Allah, verily, Allah is well aware of what you do. This commandment of God Almighty is for both men and women. This verse is one of the verses recited at the occasion of the Nikai. Once of my ipe, and you only by God, do a beruala. Ki oluka lukwe mi, ki osima ronu ni panti unti si waju fun ojola. E beruala o, daju daju, olon oba mo bubu unti anshi. Ojola. Ah, aya yi ije iko lara won aya ti won ma nka fun wa ti aba nse igbeyawo igbeyawo ojo ola lo si po ninu e tori pe okunrin ati obirin ti won da papo lojo yi won mo nti o ma sele leyin ola so won gbodo wa bere pepe lati bere ni daada kan ro ninu ipa pe ki no fe ma ti siwaju lati se ba gbe po won fun ojo ola both men and women are advised to tread the path of righteousness while keeping tomorrow in mind it is common knowledge that the root cause of every immorality or sin lies in a careless attitude towards understanding what God Almighty and his prophets, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, desires from us. No effort is made to understand the commandments given in the Holy Quran, even though the Holy Quran provides us with complete guidance for leading our lives. 
God Almighty says that if you are a believer, then both men and women should keep this basic principle in mind. You must tread the path of righteousness and lead your life accordingly. You should always worry about tomorrow and your future. And this worry for the future should not be about worldly desires, but rather about your moral and spiritual well-being, how to stay faithful to God Almighty, how to always show loyalty to God Almighty, and how to make his commandments an essential aspect of your daily life. Once this sense of concern becomes a part of your lives, only then we will be able to live our lives like a believer, and only then we will be able to adorn our life in the hereafter. Once we make it a firm resolve and a part of our faith that this world is only temporary and hereafter is the real and everlasting life. Once we have a firm faith in, of the accountability of our actions in the hereafter. Once we have a firm faith that God is almighty and the knower of the hidden and the apparent and that he even knows our secrets and what lies deep down in these recesses of our hearts, and that he is all aware of the seen and the unseen, then we must carefully ponder over these words of God Almighty that every soul look to what is sent for for the morrow. Um, Ojo la ti anso, o nsi ojo la Sunday yi. Ojo la to je ipe o ma la fun gbogbo wa ti a mo nti o le sele. Ojo la to je ipe leyin aye yi atun ma tun ba pade ni aye to nbo ki wa ni awon ti an ti si waju. Ti a ba fi alukurani ti o je ti o je iwe to sona ti a fi se pepele gbogbo alamori wa ni le aye kini ojo la ti an ti si waju. This will not only adorn their lives in this world and their lives in the hereafter and hand the pleasure of God Almighty, but it will also make us deserving of reward owing to the good upbringing we provided them. God Almighty does not let any good deed go by without a reward. Then how could he not reward you for the work that you do purely to follow his commandments? Let's Leaving behind pious children who pray for us will also adorn our future because they will continue our good deeds and pray for us. And this will become a means of elevating our ranks in the hereafter. Ani re ti ipe ti a ba di ojo ogbo awon na ni won ma sike wa sugbon olodun ba tun so fun wa ipe ere to tun po tun wa leyin igba ta dojo ogbo leyin igba ta ba ku tan ere ta tun ma je lori awon omo daada ta ba fi sile ni ipe won wa lara awon ti won ma sadura fun wa ti won ma se daada leyin wa ti gbogbo awon opo yan ma ri won ipe ah omo daada ni omo lagbaja re sugbon ti a ba toju won ti a to won fun bi daada ni sin ere nje wo la fe je leyin ola Therefore, the tomorrow which God Almighty has told us, has told to us to be concerned about and stated that we should ponder over what we send for, for it has a broad meaning. The moral pertains to our future life in this world and the hereafter. It pertains to the commandment of shaping our own and the next generation's lives. God Almighty has shown us the path of any his pleasure through this one commandment. However, a worthy person Will never reach this level. A materialistic person will not only think about accumulating wealth and property and will not be concerned about his spirituality or God Almighty's pleasure.
A true believer, however, is commanded that although it is permissible to enjoy the worldly favors of God Almighty, it is wrong to only indulge in them and to not be concerned about your spiritual life. If you fail to raise your children well, then they will hit away and waste all your wealth in no time. If they are not raised well, they will indulge in immoral habits and ultimately be caught by law enforcement. At that moment, wealth and money will not be of any use. The promised Messiah, Alice Salat used to narrate an incident in this regard. Uh, uh, hey. Story to Mofeka from why Ojan's book were not tea or my answer about soften water. Jay Pay wanted to share what he shared near Refua. Want to soak a promise with I go. I want not to so you know you will come on. A young boy was very dear to his mother. It was his habit to be mischievous, indulge in wrongful acts, and to harm people. Then he started stealing here and there. People used to grab him and bring him to his mother, but she would always side with him. She knowingly covered up his actions. She would say, nothing has happened. It is not like my child to do such thing. You are only blaming him. This child grew up causing trouble, encouraged by his mother's wrongful love and spoiling. He became hardened in his sinful habits only to become a thief and a murderer. One day, at last the law caught him. He was sentenced to be hanged till death. At the time of his, of his execution, he was asked if he had a last wish. He said his own last wish was that his mother be brought in to see him. When his mother arrived and came near him, she asked about his last wish. He said, mother, I'm going to die now. But before I die, I would like to kiss your tongue. His mother stuck, his, stuck her tongue out so he could kiss it. But he beat it so violently that half of, her, of his mother's tongue was severed. The mother started screaming and crying, and people condemned him for hurting his mother in his last moment. Hearing this, he said, whenever I did something wrong and people brought me to my mother, instead of chiding me and guiding me, she unjustly covered up my wicked actions. I was encouraged so much so that I became a hardened criminal. Has she guided me right? Become hungry at this behavior, admonish me or punish me. I would not, I would have not seen this day. Therefore, a mother and her tongue that kept encouraging my sinful behavior should have ended exactly in the way it did. Nishoki, until promise you said, you want to see one thing, a kawe or motoja, a pay to bash yada. Tiwamba Mwasado, yea, Kelma, ye, Obu, you also call Oleko, or that Boru, Anni, ah, a filler or mother than you, Pontense and Paromo, one year more, you are Dagba, Obera C. Jalli, Obera C. Dagboru, and one lock Pawamu, one year Kew Lopa, but you are the Joseph of Pawani, or the Loy, the King in Tofeso, only Colobo, who you are, but one more made the bed. One year, ah, Mamma, then Tom Fashion, see, last thing Tom Fashion, he pay on that kiss, I want my mom. this is a great lesson for those mothers who get caught in the moment and spoil their children 
and do not think about their own future or their child's future. They only worry about accumulating wealth or acquiring the luxuries of this life. Thousands of people go bankrupt every year, including successful businessmen. Their parents have left them wealth and property, but debt causes them to lose everything and end up empty-handed. Then they commit suicide or indulge in immoral acts. Had they been raised with the right guidance, they would have developed a balanced nature and would not have been consumed by worldly provisions. They could have enjoyed the pleasures of this world and at the same time elevated their spiritual level. If we see some children of non amadi women raised in this way, we will say that this is due to the lack of any arrangement for their children's moral training. However, an Amadi woman who has accepted the Imam of the age has a responsibility that she should elevate her own spirituality and raise her children so that they give precedence to their faith over the world. One can argue that there are many people who are well off and prosperous in this world. They start out rich from the wealth they have acquired from their ancestors and continue to become wealthier with time. They are, they are fraudulent in their business pursuits and have other vices, and yet they are never caught. So here God Almighty has pointed out that we should worry about tomorrow because why no doubt some people are in comfortable circumstances. However, you who claim to be a believer, you who claim to have accepted the Imam of the age, you who claim to have accepted the true servant of our beloved Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and you who claim that after taking bayat, oath of initiation at his hand, you have acquired the means of your reformation, then you should in particular be mindful for tomorrow and what you are preparing for the hereafter. Alifa wan shilala ifwa ikwe, lo toni, arawo yon to jeko mwa lo wo, to si jeko ikwile se wo mwa ikwile se ti o dani, mwa si ni o wo yon to nene si, mwa to nene si, ni awa ma wo ikwe kilo de to jeko o wo si mwa 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 si, se bolo nwa mwa ikwe o nwa ti o dani, mwa si ni o wo yon. Ki a wata je iya, ni nou jomu shumia madia, ti a ti gba ipe, kari o la mwa sala wa sala, olon lo ron siwa, ti a siwa akba bayat, lo wo imam, as for you, you pay at the tele. Come, my auntie, pay all loud, la or rotilia, ye, ni conco, Monsieur Walenio for old Joe Low, Kinia fair back paddy, near Joe La, Oshima La, or Joe La, while you call Joe, Bonshia or Lia Yellow, your catfish with Billy, Equilewa. Those who have neither faith nor spirituality show no concern in regards of their future to their future or the hereafter. They are actually helpless and inexcusable because they consider this world to be everything and they do not watch for their spiritual well-being in the hereafter. God Almighty says that there awaits a life after death and if someone escapes punishment for their wrongs in this world, they will certainly be held accountable for it in the next. Once of my ipe, see I want to more come more come. Si wan ba an so ipe ko si nto nji a orun ipe le aye yi ni kan ni awon ni awa ti awa ti tewo gba ipe o ke wa ni gbagbo nu olorun ba ka mo ipe leyin aye yi orun tun be o ti eyan kan ba to ba eh to ba escape pe ki won fi ko iya fi ya je ni le aye to ro pe boye ohun ti mo ri bo ko mo pe ohun o le mo ri bo to ba di ojo gbe ni ya mo however you who claim to be spiritual must prepare for both worlds we, who claim to belong to the community of the one who is commissioned by God Almighty, we, who firmly believe in the finality of the only prophet, Muhammad, and that he is the final law-bearing prophet, and the book revealed to him is a complete guidance for us to reform in this life and the next, we must bring about a pious change in our lives, and we must strive to follow all the commandments. We must become role models for our next generation so that our future our progeny consists of those who continue to earn God's Almighty's pleasure. Mwani ya watoje ikwe ati 
o ji se to gbe yi ti o mu ofin wa o ye ki a wa tele ofin na gege bi o se ye ki a tele ka mo pe ife olorun ba ni o jaju ka wa fi ife ati mo na olorun ba yi ka fi si oko awon omo wa o je pepele n ta ma fi to won Islam has placed the primary responsibility for training our next generation of mothers. Our ya, honest Islam. Oju she, lati to awo iran to mbo le insi wa yi. Oju she lati to awo owa lodo awa ya o. It is women who can secure the future, not only one gen, not only of one generation, but also of the subsequent generation. If a woman does not understand God Almighty's commandments or does not even make an effort to understand them, then we cannot guarantee that the next generation will be morally trained. I mo ya wa ya. Oje ike amani to eh baba ni eh olori kori re o ti sheba o ti shawo o sin to kan baba much ni no oro ti Islam mba wa so do o kan won o sugbon awa ti o kan ti o sewo mo lara ni awa ya. Our beloved Holy Prophet Muhammad has pointed out the high status of a true Muslim woman. His assertion was not an emotional or trivial statement. In fact, by giving women the responsibility of reforming the next generation and securing their future in this world and the next, he has given their life, life purpose and meaning. In one sentence, he gave women the utmost status while drawing their attention to their responsibilities by saying, Paradise lies under the feet of the mothers. Oni kare ola mo sala la le wasala. Mo si ti shalaye fun alai mo ye gba. O gbe awo obirin si pepele ti o ga. Nipa oro ti won so nipa wa. Pipe alujo na awon omo wa o wa ni abese wa. Abese ya ni alujo na omo wa. In this sentence on the one hand, he gave, he, he gave glad tidings to women regarding their high status. And on the other hand, he warned that if a mother does not carry paradise under her feet, she carries hell. One example of which I have given to you in the incidents of the thief and the murderer. Alujon no mo wa la bese ye iya ti o ba ti je ki alujon na jade lati abese si omo aje pe ina lo mo ma ba pade thus paradise lies under the feet the mother's feet because due to our upbringing the child grows up to be a good citizen to be an asset for his nation and to be a person who gives precedence to his faith over this world it should also be remembered here, that moral upbringing is blessed only when the mother is also praying. By watching their mother pray, children will also be inclined to pray. So the training should not only be an outward training, but it is also important for a mother to pray so that she develops a strong relationship with God Almighty. I Bombawi, Mola Kakamon Shiwala, and Wola Sanko. What of Wandi, the Katu, no, 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 there is no doubt that fathers should also keep in mind that their spiritual level and their standard of worship should be very high. Because after a certain age, boys do start looking up to their fathers. I received many letters from children, however, who say that their mother's spouse's influence and guidance has influenced them, but that their father neither pay attention to them nor to their mother. Children do complain about such behavior, and sadly, some of them end up spoiled. 
although a large number of them are still saved by their mother's prayers. Therefore, if mothers have made up their mind to and have family and a family resolve that they are going to save their children from being wasted, they must tread the path of righteousness. Then the children will also remain attached to their faith even when the husband is non cooperative cruel, or had a bad, uh, or has a bad attitude. Ozu on shela la ifun aipe amon yo kunre je aipe won kia o ni won se ibaje awon na ri bi awon okunrin wa bi won se nse awata ji obirin sugbon awata ji obirin ka mo ipe ise wa ni eyan ola wa ni awon omo wa yi abese wa ni won si so ipe alejo na won wa ka ma wa wo ise awon oko wa ka ma ka wa fi fi ojo ola wa tafala eje ka fi awon ba oko ti o ba gba lai gege bi uzu wa se nse pe awon oko na ni oju se ti won ti won ba fo oju se ti won sile eje ki awa wa oju se ti wa moya ka wa mori ka de se dede ki ojo ola wa ko ba le da so i will say to fathers that they should also play their part in making their homes like paradise don't place the sole responsibility on mothers when men express their love at home and fulfill their responsibilities, then a mother's spouse training is more fruitful. Mothers, however, should not use men's behavior as an excuse by saying that since their men are not cooperative, therefore they are helpless. As I have said earlier, there are many families where, despite the father's wrong attitude, the children grow up to be well trained in religion as well as good citizens owing to their mother's efforts. One ni kan okunrin na ki won jigire si ise ti o ye ki won se nipa ye pe ki awon mo kan ba lojo na pade lati ara won sugbon okunrin to ba ta ku to ba so po won o ni ta lojo na fo mo e je ki a wa ya ta mo ipe oju se wa ni o ise wa ni ka si mu lokunkunu ki a se tori pe to ba de yin ola a wa ya ina ola ma jere to poju Boys who are well trained by their mothers will grow up to become husbands and fathers who are righteous, who are who act righteously. They will possess high morals and they will help their wives make their home like paradise. Thus, if mothers cannot control one generation because they have no influence over the fathers, they can control the next generation by training their boys to become good future fathers and husbands, and by training their daughters well they will be raising future mothers who will carry paradise under their feet. Awani, okunri, omo dekunrin to ja ipe iye e ba to daada. O ma dagba lati je oko ati baba daada. Ile ti o ba si wa ti eh o ba fe yawo si ile omo kunrin na a je alojo na fun awon omo ti won ma bi so won wa ngba wo obirin ni yanju bi pe ti a ba ni tapa lori generation lori iran ti o wa ni nsin ni pa ipe awon oko wa awon baba ti a ni nsin won gbo won won to ona to da e je ki isapa wa ka teri e si ona bi pe ki a mu awon iran to nbo ka toju won daada ti ojo ola wa ko ba le da ni pa wi pe awa ta awon okunrin wa daada ti a si to awon obirin wa daada ile ti awon oran to nbo ti won ba ma wa to a je ile alarubareka a si je alujo na fun awon ti o ma ma gbebe hence this is a huge responsibility that islam places on the believers and our holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has described this in such a beautiful and profound manner therefore our women and girls should always keep this in mind Lara nti won se lalaye fun wa mi bayi won ni ise nla ni o ti o po ti agbe fun awa obirin yala obirin agbalagba tabi obirin kekere ka mo yi pe olohun oba ati odise re salala ali wa salam won ni se wa na se gbe ise nla yi le wa lowo ko si fe sha akun asikun kan bi pe ninu alquran suratun nisa lo wa o ko si suratun roja ka ba mo yi pe olohun oba o so pataki awa ta jo obirin ise wa e je ka gbajumo o ise wa e je ka gbajumo o ise wa e je ka gbajumo olohun ba se ni ro fun wa e ma je ko je pe awon iwa si awon oko wa o ma je ka ju ile wa le ki le wa ko ma ba di radarada ko ma ba di rede rede ki eyin ola wa ko ma ba wo olohun ba ba wa so ile ashi ti ona wa a ba wa a teri awon omo wa ba 
fun didi sise o tito ati sise dada ṣugbọn kan to se bayi a wa fun rara wa la gbodo se atonu e olorun ba je ko ro fun wa lati se this message just read just confirm that the responsibility of the child's tarbiya rests on both the mother and father they are equally required to play their respective parts in the moral betterment of and development of the child to learn more as that khalifa to masi spoke to rodi alawani spoke in detail regarding the moral training of children and addressed almost all its aspects in his book way of the this way of the seekers we can get this inside we can get more of what has spoken about in this book way of the seekers may allah continue to bless us and make all our children the delight of our eyes amen ah uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh robana abla nami na zuwajina wazuri yatina kurata ayuni wajana mutakina imama our lord grant us of our spouses and our children the delight of our eyes and make us a model model for the righteous amen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Yes. The next thing I think on the agenda is to call on Sister Rukoya Akintola to deliver the lecture on Tarbia, strengthening our connectivity with God. I might be no quarrel me for for more way about that. All I have to see about you at your goals. Sister Rukoya, over to you. Salam alaikum. Hi, Chancellor. Auzubillahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa adau la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abdu wa rasuluh. Inna mal mukminuna alladhina idha zukira Allah wajilat qulubuhum wa idha tuliyat alayhim ayatu zadatuhum imana wa ala rabbihim yatawakkalun true believers are only those whose hearts tremble when the name of allah are mentioned and when his signs are recited to them they increase in their faith and who put their trust in allah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I am honored to be invited to speak with you my mothers and sisters on the topic strengthening our connectivity with Allah. We can only strengthen what our connectivity with Allah when we know him. Firstly, let's talk about getting to know Allah. The only prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Allah the almighty said I am as my servant thinks I am. I am with him when he mentions me. If he mentions me to himself, I mention him to myself. And if he mentions me in an assembly, I mention him in an assembly greater than it. If he draws near to me a hand length, I draw near to him a hand length. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him at speed. I believe that in order to have a heart that is connected to Allah, we need to get to know him first. How do we expect to build a strong relationship with someone we barely know? Allah gave us multiple ways to do this, one of which is through the Quran. Another way to get to know him is by spending time learning and reflecting on his names, which we learn from the Quran and Sunnah. Let's know that Allah is Al-Khalik, the creator, the one who created us, and anything we may desire Allah is as Samir the all hearing the one who hears every single one of our supplications Allah is al qadir the omnipotent the powerful the one who is able to do anything no matter how impossible it might seem to our limited perception this will help us create our relationship with Allah in a positive framework I make it a relationship that we gladly work on and invest in. So explore, learn and reflect on the names of Allah. Also, 
people. Let's firmly hope for Allah's mercy. Allah is our Rahman, our Rahim. Allah is not looking for a reason to punish, reject, or push us away. No, 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 no. He is there for us when no one else is and is looking for reasons to accept us. His names teach us that he is our Rahman, the merciful. He is Al Wadud, the source of love, and he is a Salam, the source of peace. However, we often tend to lose hope as soon as we sleep. I believe many times this can even be the reason why we start losing our connection with Allah altogether. We should know that we are humans, and so is our heart. So at some point in time, it might break, it might not work properly, or we might feel a certain emptiness inside. From personal experience, I can tell you that it's essential that we learn to fill this void by being close to Allah, instead of trying to fill it with anything else. Be optimistic that Allah will accept your repentance. He mentions his forgiveness more often than his punishment in the Holy Quran. Every once in a while, we all make mistakes because we are not perfect. But it's vital to immediately catch ourselves and remember Allah. Repentance is a constant process. It's not something that can be done in a day. So it might take a couple of attempts to fully get back on track, but don't be embarrassed to turn back to him, no matter the magnitude of your sin. And never lose hope in his infinite mercy. Now, let's talk about how we can strengthen our connectivity with Allah through physical connections. This can be achieved through performing prayers. The Holy Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said, The example of the five daily prayers is like that of a clear water, river flowing in front of your houses in which a person washes himself five times daily, cleansing him from all deaths and impurities. Somebody that takes his bed five times a day, that person can never be dirty. When you visit the holy land of Mecca, you see people ready for salat, even before the azan is called, and lots of others performing ablution with utmost concentration. But it's not just about praying on time although that is important. What is even more important in my opinion is the quality of our prayers. When it comes to our heart, there is nothing more crucial than our prayers. It will be the first thing we will be asked about by Allah. And if our prayers were good, then everything else would be good, inshallah. By implication, this means that the quality of your prayer is a way to check yourself and the state of your faith and heart. Is our way to call on him five times a day to keep our relationship with him alive and our hearts connected to him. We have to fix the quality of our prayers if we want to fix our hearts. If we don't have that consistency, that food for the soul, our hearts will automatically be affected. The five daily prayers can be seen as a constant refresher of our faith. It revives us spiritually if we engage in our prayers consciously and not just treat them like a cardiovascular activity. An issue for many of us is that we are not fluent in the Arabic language. So we might feel disconnected in prayer because we don't understand what we are reciting. It's then up to us to be proactive and find ways to get something out of the prayer by reviewing. For example, a few of the verses you have recited, understanding their meaning, and you can also supplicate in any language you, you understand. Surely Allah is all hearing. We can strengthen our connectivity with Allah by reading and pondering over the Quran. Remember, true believers are only those whose hearts tremble when the name of Allah is mentioned and when his signs are recited to them. They increase their faith and put their trust in their Lord. I'm sure we have all been in a situation where we attend a lecture or an Islamic event, and we go back home feeling a spiritual eye rush through us. But then, after a week or so, we feel a deep in our faith again. Imagine the scenario. 
if you had to have advice a friend who wanted to get in shape, will you tell them to work out for three hours straight and this will be enough for the rest of the year to keep them in shape? No, no, no. If only it were that easy. Just like a few hours of physical exercise, every couple of months won't do anything for our bodies. Remembering Allah once a week or once a month won't do much for our spiritual hearts. In order to be consistent with, our, with the remembrance of Allah, we have the above mentioned five daily prayers. But we have also been given the Quran, which is not just meant to sit on our shelves, but was sent down to be read, lived, and engaged with on a daily basis. Allah tells us in the Quran that our hearts find ultimate peace and tranquility in the remembrance of Him. Since the Quran is said to be the best form of remembrance, it is an essential component to keep our hearts steadfast. But how many of us really make an effort to understand his book? How much time do we really spend with it on a regular basis? And at this of the holy prophet says, Call a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Tarak tu fikum amroini, I'm leaving two things for you. If you stick to them with strict adherence, you will never be misled. They are the book of Allah and the practice of his messenger. I personally believe that reading the Quran, even if you might not understand or remember everything, is a means to purify our hearts and bring about change inside of us. But in order to feel, to really feel the effects of his words on us, we have to be willing to go deeper in order to reap the tremendous benefits of their meaning. I once had an analogy that I would like to share with you, my mothers and sisters. Imagine you receive a letter from a Uzur, or a king, or even a president or anyone else in a high position. Even if it was written in a language you don't understand, you will get it translated because you will be dying to know what it says, isn't it? The Quran can be seen as a letter to mankind and it's not a letter from just anyone. It's a message from the Lord of the world himself. It's one of the most fulfilling experiences to establish a relationship with the Quran and extract gems on how to enrich your own personal life and enlighten your heart. All you have to do is commit and set aside a certain time in the day where you can sit down, read, reflect, and ponder over the Quran, even if it is just one verse a day. One of the recommended times is right after Fajri prayer, as it is the time of blessings. But I would say the most important thing is that you find a time that works best for you and you are able to stick to consistently. Now, Let's talk about connecting with God through your relationship with others and yourself. An English proverb will say, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Surround yourself with people that remind you of Allah. The messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, the likeness of a righteous friend and an evil friend is the likeness of a perfume seller and a blacksmith. As for the perfume seller, he may either bestow something on you, or you may purchase something from him, or you may benefit from his sweet smell. And as for the blacksmith, he may either burn your clothes, or you may be exposed to his awful smell. Even if you strive to better yourself and purify your heart, it will prove to be very difficult if your company isn't good. Just as some people can impact you positively, Others can literally poison your heart. Therefore, quality is so much important than quantity when it comes to the friends you choose to surround yourself with. It's completely normal for us to go through phases where our faith goes up and down. But if we keep good company and don't isolate ourselves, we can prevent our faith from plummeting to the ground and thereby strengthen our connectivity with Allah. Choose to be around people who bring you closer to righteousness. People who remind you of Allah 
and encourage you to do good deeds. The ones who support you and believe in you in the good times, as well as the bad times. You go to or organize weekly gatherings where you come together with fellow Muslims and discuss things that you are dealing with at the moment. Read his book together and reflect on it. Reflect on his words, pray together, eat together, and simply come together for his sake. You might see something in a way that the person next to you might not see and vice versa. So you can benefit from each other's different perspectives. Angels surround gatherings where Allah is remembered. So imagine how blessed a weekly get together would be. You feel an immediate effect on your heart and spiritual self, inshallah. Always attend larger programs, be it monthly meetings, seminars, or workshops. Now, you also pause and assess yourself. Frequently assess the state of your heart and think about the way you affect others. Does your character and the way you speak to and treat others bring them closer to Allah or does it drive them away? I believe that a fundamental aspect of strengthening connectivity with Allah starts with working on one's character and developing fundamental etiquette. When you are going through a tough time in your life, go out and help somebody deal with your problem. This way, you'll be able to shift your focus from I to a more positive and comprehensive one. I will be able to put your own matters into perspectives. Although, thinking about someone else when you have your own problem might sound difficult, but you can do it because it's going to help you. We can all do our part in making the world a little better for someone. It might not impact everyone on everyone, but it can have impact on even one life or one heart, then there is still value in it and it still makes a difference. You realize that what you do for others will not just have an effect on them, but will also soften your own heart. When we look at the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and his companions, we can see that they never let a person feel as though they were alone or as though they had to get through trials by themselves. They didn't look a person up and down and judge them. Be a real friend of people and someone they can come and speak to. Think about how you being Muslim is not only a benefit to you, but also a benefit to those around you. Now, let's talk about ways to strengthen our connectivity with God. Let's look at the practical tips that can help you connect to our creator. Regardless of your possession, Allah is always near. Although we don't see him, but believe it, Allah is always near. Then strive to earn Allah's love. How do you earn Allah's love? You earn Allah's love by being obedient to his commandments. Make dua to Almighty Allah. No one can do it. Only Almighty Allah can answer your prayers. So why not pray to him? Ask and it shall be given. Then be grateful to Allah. Sincere repentance. When you hear, always try to run back to him. Seek forgiveness and he will surely forgive because he is what? al -Ghafur. Then prayers and zikrullah, that is remembrance of Allah. Trust in Allah's one Allah wa ta'ala. Then do not forget the five daily prayers. It is a means by which you connect with Allah every day. Then always remember that. Always remember that. Deal justly with others. Then try to learn about Allah. How do you learn about Allah? You can only learn about Allah through al Quran. Then family hope for his mercy. Pause and assess yourself. Read and ponder over the Quran. Add good things to the book of your deeds. Study the names of Allah and learn to live by them.
then let the head of you. Then surround yourself with people that remind you of Allah, Subhana, Watawala. Make sure you have. Then always remember, Allah is on your side. If you take one step towards him, it takes many steps towards Unfortunately, I'm not going to it happen. But if you trust in mercy and grace of Allah, you know that connection with Allah is a road, a path, and a journey. Never give up, give up on this journey to continuously seek Him despite the deluge of responsibilities and worldly matters that at any moment could swallow you. Call upon Him. Of this life will feel light. We keep seeking to prevent ourselves from sinking. Dr. Absalam, it seems as if um, Saru Kayat is back. If she is back, you can pick up from where you stop. Saru Kayat, where are you? The network is somehow disturbing. I'm here, ma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Well, make sure that you are. Unfortunately, I read everything. I didn't know it has stopped. 
Okay. We are just going we are down closing down prayer. Down. Okay. So where did this stop? Okay. Can continue from there. Please, where did I? I, I read everything. I, please, where did I stop, ma? Doctor Absalom. We have read out the story of the pious man and his friend, and how his prayer was accepted after thirty years. So we are on the, the last slide, closing prayer. Okay, ma. May Allah ease us in attaining closeness to Him. Amen. May we always remember Him. Thank him and worship him in the best of manners. Robana Kurulana, Zunubana, Waisrofana, Fi Amrina, Wasabit Akodamana, Wansuruna, Alalkom El Kafirin, Wahiru Dawana, and Alhamdulillahi, Robbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumla haya. Um, it seems the network is stopped a little bit, but we are grateful. The uh, all what you have passed on to us were well um, explained, and I hope we all understand. But part of what I was able to denote is that we should all be near to the Holy Quran. There is a saying that if a person you love wrote you something, wouldn't you read it again and again? So if you can't allow one of us Allah as somebody that you love and you are well, um, you are well certain that he also loves you. The reason, that's the main reason why we are created. So whatever he has written, we should make sure that it's a letter that we should be reading times and times and times again. So we should all get closer to the Holy Quran and make it our guide. And um, like our sister said, she only buttresses what our beloved Uzur has been telling us all these days. That when we pray, we make sure that we do lots of daru, lots of istighfar, and then Robana, as we are asking for the goodness of this life, likewise, we should be asking for the goodness of the hereafter. May Allah continue to answer all our prayers. So, Dr. Abdusalam, question and answer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have questions from the chat room. We There's know. no question there. Yeah. Maybe we should go to the next lecture. Exactly, ma. Yeah, if we have from every everybody that is listening, if you have any questions, send your questions to the chat room. Likewise, the registration link for this program is in the chat room now. Register. Make sure that you register. Make sure that you register. Registration link. You one in the chat room. And to buy a monthly access, on by our register, want to get a boy on the Android phone, Larry. Then again, a bunny berry, a jackia, fish, or was in no ebe, ebeni, and want to mama, a jadi for my not to marry. Although I don't allow a jet to work on me, a boy, inshallah, as this. So the next lecture is um is on tablet. Our roles and responsibilities to be taken by Sister Shakira or Laniyo. Our roles and responsibilities towards Tabli. Sister Shakira, over to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Himina Shaitan wa Rajim, Bismillah, Yahya Rahman wa Rahim. Alhamdulillah, 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 Rahman or Rahim Maliki or Miki, Ija can have a yak and a sarum, if you know short on the second, if you know short on the second. So I'll call Ladin and Amta Alayim, Gorin Mokubi Alayim, Walla Gorin. Shadalla Hilala was the Hula Shalla, who was Shadana Muhammad and Abu Warasu. Along Mosolia, Muhammad, Walla Muhammad, Kamasolata Allah Ibrahim, 
wa ala ibrahim wa ika tahamidu majid allahu mabarik ala muhammad wa ala ala muhammad wa mabarik ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim wa ika tahamidu majid rabbi shurah li sajri wa yassir li hamri wa ahlu ya akudata wa lisali ya akudu kawad respected sada la nai mahila najira ajia tawfiqo fagulade respected mothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tablik, our roles and responsibilities. Tablik takes an important role in Islam. All the prophets of Allah were sent to humanity purposely on obligation of Tablik. As we all know, all the prophets before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were either sent to their people or their community. But Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam was said to the whole world on the obligation of Tabi to show uh, the people of the world to the right path, to show them uh, the way to Islam. Whosoever does Tabi must adopt Hikmah, that is wisdom. It is only then that people will understand and accept what we are preaching to them. In Quran 16, verse 1 to 6. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Udiwa illa sabili rabbika bila hikmati wal mu'udati hasana wajadil hum billatihi ya ahsan inna rabbaka huwa a'lam biman dolla an sabidihi wa huwa a'lamu bil muqtadi. Mene Allah says, Call unto the way of the Lord with wisdom and good exhortation, and argue with them in a way that is best. Surely the Lord knows those who are rightly guided. Before I proceed, let's quickly look at the meaning of cogent words in this topic. We have tablig, role, and responsibilities. Tablig is an Arabic word from the root word balago, and it gives the sense of conveying or delivery to take actual destination and reach the depth. Tablik is a term describing the exercise of conveyance or delivery of the message of the messages of Islam to the people for whom it was in fact meant. Meaning of role. This is the function assumed or part played by a person or team in a particular situation. While responsibility is the state or fact of having a duty to deal with someone or of having control over someone. As Ladna Imaila, it is our duty to call others to the religion of Allah, which is Islam. We must make it our priority to preach Islam to people around us, either in our communities or in our, in our working places. The work of Tablik has strong basis in the Holy Quran and the Hadith. In Quran chapter 41, verse 34, Allah says, and who is better in speech than he who invites men to Allah and does good work and says, I am surely of those who submit. Another chapter of the Holy Quran, which is chapter 3, verse 105, Allah says, and let there be among you a body of men who should invite to goodness and enjoy equity and forbid evil, and it is they who shall prosper. The only prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, By God who hold my life in his hand, None of you can be a truly faithful Muslim unless he likes for himself, unless he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. This is uh, Adit Bukhari. What the only prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is trying to tell us here is that, as we all know, our slogan uh, in this pajama is love for all, hatred for none. Then aside this, after we have known the right path, it is our duty as the women servant of Allah to help those around us 
in following the right path. Ladna Imaila has mothers and home builders. After we have known the right path through the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and our Imam of the age, Asrat Mirza Gulab Khamad, alayhi salatu wasalam, it is our responsibilities to call other people who are non-Muslim and who do not believe in Imam Mahdi as the promised Messiah and Imam of our time to the way of Allah and show them the teachings and beauty of Islam. It is what we give to the society that same society will give back to us. We must strive in the course of Allah by doing tabiq in our, in our own little way. As we all know, the teachings of Islam do not permit women to preach publicly, but to only women as well. His Holiness, Adra Kaliba Tumasi, uh, the fifth Kaliba, from his address to ladies at Gaza Salana, Australia, on 15th April, April 2006, said, Lightning Department should make teams of women and girls and use them for tablet. However, it should be clear, clearly remembered that girls should only do tablet to other females. So people make tablet contacts on the internet. Tablet contacts on the internet should only be established with women and girls. Leave tablet toward men for the men because otherwise this causes some issues. It is said that we are doing tablet. However, what has generally been seen and experienced is that these internet connections lead to some results that are not appropriate for an Ahmadi female. Girls who are studying in college and universities should talk to other female students about themselves and Islam without any hesitation, embarrassment, or inferiority complex. Tell them who we are, and in this way, introduce Islam to, to uh, introduce, introduce them to Islam. If we look at this, uh, the fifth caliphate, is trying to tell us here is that, as we all know, we women, we are limited to some stages in which we can uh, of doing tablet. If you want to do tablet, the tablet should be for, for, for female or for women, should be within the, uh, with their female counterpart or with girls. We should not extend our tablet to men's sites because this causes a lot of problem in our society. Now let's look at the ways of doing tablet. There are these different ways of doing tablet or different methods that can be applied when we are doing tablet. But I am going to categorize them into three. The first one, that is morally. It's a method of preaching or gaining people's hearts to Islam through our good behaviors and characters. Many people were converted to Islam by Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi through his good morals. An incident occurred during the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi One day, the Prophet of Allah assisted an old woman to carry some notes. When they got home, the old woman wanted to give him something in appreciation, but she couldn't find anything to give him. And she thought she turned to the prophets of Allah, Salah Ali Wasala, and said, Young man, have you heard about a man called Muhammad? He is a bad person. Beware of him. The only prophet Muhammad Salah Ali Wasala, replied the old woman by saying, and you recognize the man if you see him. The old woman said, no, I don't know him. And it was then he told her that, I am that Muhammad you are talking about. Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad Mustafa. The old woman said, if this is what you are doing, if, if this is what you are preaching, I am ready to accept Islam and she became a Muslim. Moral method is the most beautiful way 
of gaining arts into Islam and spreading the message of Allah as well. In Quran 33, verse 22, Allah says, Thirdly, you have in the prophet of Allah an excellent model for him who fears Allah on the last day and who remembers Allah much. Number two, that is the second method, the second way of doing tabi. And this is verbally, that is, we can do it verbally. It's a way of conveying Allah's messages to people through our speech. And is uh, conveying Allah's message to the whole world and spreading the beautiful teachings of Islam can be achieved through the following means. Number one, we can organize public lectures, as well as preaching, using of media. But well, we all know that we women, we cannot do this. They are meant for men alone. But the fourth one, we can go for the fourth one. And this is organizing group discussions with fellow women over a cup of tea. That, that is, in our community, among our friends, we can uh, ask them to visit us. Then, when they come, we entertain them, then we discuss on the teachings of uh, the Holy Prophet Muhammad and the words of Allah as well. And through this, we can gain many arts into Islam. I, I had a story about one of our mothers that that is what she normally do. She will ask uh, our neighbors to come and visit her. And when they come, she will serve them uh, a cup of tea with biscuit. Then after that, uh, she will start discussing with them. And through this, she was able to gain different arts into his plan. Number three, that is written method. Calling men to the way of Allah can also be achieved by distributing pamphlets, magazines, then sending messages to social media. Under that pamphlet, we normally do that. We have uh, the uh, pamphlet with different topics. We have uh, loyalty, freedom, equality, respect, and peace. And there is another one, uh, which is uh, the topic there is, this is Islam. Then an another one, the prophecy about Muslim Mahmoud. And we can give this to our neighbors, to our co-workers. And through this, they will know more about Islam and uh, the Caliphate to Masih, the promised Messiah. They will know more about all this. Let's look at the qualities of the good preacher. Lachina, who wants to embark on tabic activities, what are the qualities we must possess as a good preacher? The following are the qualities that must be possessed by anyone who intends to do tabic. Number one, that is knowledgeable. As a good preacher, who is doing that one to gain or convert many arts to the way of Allah? We must have full knowledge or understanding on the topic we want to preach on. It is the duty of every learner to seek for knowledge to enable us to capture the arts of our listeners into the right path. And through this, we can learn some quotable verses from the Holy Quran, different uh, adits, and with this we stand as tool when we are preaching. So we can make use of, of this because we can come across different listeners that so we need to ask us different questions. But if we've prepared ourselves very well, we won't find it difficult to answer them. In Quran 16, Verse 126, I've said this earlier, I've read it earlier, call on to the way of the Lord with wisdom and goodly exhortation and argue with them in a way that is best. Surely the Lord knows best who has astray from his way and he knows those who are rightly guided. When we are preaching about Islam to others, it is sure that 
there will be a situation or avenue for arguments. When there is argument between our listener, between us and our listener, we must take it easy with them. We must avoid using harsh words or abusive words. Number two, prayerful. We must be prayerful when embarking on duty of spreading the messages of Allah to humanity. We need to pray fervently that Allah should make his messages easy for us to deliver and touches the hearts of the listeners. Then, uh, in Quran 74, verse 2, arise and one, and the Lord do so magnify, and the hearts do that purify. And aside this, I've said it all that we must be pray, we must always pray anytime we want to go for tablet activities. Uh, and there, this is a particular uh, passage of the Holy Quran that we can read, read, and this will help us in discharging our duties as we are expected. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi Shurahli Shadiri, Waya Sirli Hamri, Wahri Ambudata Min Bisadi, Yafkafu Kauli. In the name of Galata, in the name of Allah, the gracious and merciful, my Lord, open out for me my breast and east for me my task and lose the knot of my tongue that they may understand my speech. So we can say this prayer often and often. Number three, which is role model. A good preacher must possess good characters that people around will want to emulate. She must lead by good examples. Number four, that is confidence. Latin members should develop confidence. We should understand our subject syllabus and train ourselves so that we can answer basic questions. Why do we interview? Allah says in Quran 33 verse 30, those who deliver the message of Allah and fear him and fear none but Allah and subject is Allah as record. Number five, that is patience. We have to exercise enough patience. Whenever we are introducing Islam or we are calling people to the right path, which is Islam. Patience is one of the qualities a Ladina do interview must have. People will argue with you, provoke you, and mock you. But the ability to overlook those acts will enable the preacher gain their acts. In Quran 2, verse 154, Allah says, O ye who believe, seek help with patience and prayer. Surely Allah is steadfast. The number six, which is uh, humility. Someone who is spreading the messages of Allah, who is telling people the do's and don'ts of Allah to a community and all world must humble ourselves to study. No matter the level of our status compared to those we are preaching to, we must humble ourselves. We must be soft-spoken and avoid the harsh attitude. Uh, in Quran 7, verse 14, Allah says, God said, then go down. Hence, it is not for thee to be arrogant here. Don't act certainly on those who are happy. Number seven, that is financial sacrifice. Spending in the course of Allah has great rewards. When going to league, we should not hesitate to spend out of, out of what Allah has provided or sweets. In case we come across those who are less privileged and needed our help, we should render the help no matter how little it is. Allah says in Quran 57, verse 8, believe in Allah and his messenger and spend in the way of Allah out of that to which he has made you heirs. And those of you believe and spend will have a great reward. Uh, in Quran, 
chapter 2, verse 196 as well says, and spend for the cost of Allah, and cast not yourselves into ruin with your own hand, and do good. Surely Allah loves those who do good. This number seven is trying to tell us that we should not hesitate to spend from warfare, whatever Allah has given to us, because we must have it at the back of our mind that whatever we spend in the course of Allah, Allah is going to reward us goodly in this life and the year after. Let's look at the benefits of Tabi to our society. When we show people around us the right path to follow, when we show, when we tell them the teachings of Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if we inform them about the coming of the promised Messiah, though most Muslims believe that the promised Messiah has not come, but we Ahmadi, we are firm faith that uh, Imam Mahdi Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, he has come, delivered Allah's message to us, and he has gone. But what he has taught us, we are still living with them. The importance of tabli to our society. Spreading the message of Allah and teachings of Islam to the people in our environment will be of good benefit to our society. Some of the benefits are, number one, it increases the fear of Allah among our people. When we show people around us uh, the right path to follow. And we can hear so many things are uh, going on in our society different ill acts. Uh, people are killing uh, their fellow human being for, 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 for ritualists. Uh, then, if we have the opportunity to do this study and call them to order and preach Islam to them, the do's and don'ts of Allah, what will build their benefit, we let them know the benefit of following Allah's commandment and the consequences of living a last commandment, then through this, if they can follow it, definitely we are going to have uh, an increase of fear of Allah among our people. Number two, it promotes good moral in our societies. Number three, it provides us a peaceful environment. While number four, it helps in spreading Allah's messages to the whole world then the benefits of public to the pressure. We, like Naima Yila, are the own leaders, we the women servants of Allah. What will be our benefit if we take Tabli as our priority and we show people around us, our female counterpart, we show them the right way to follow the way to Islam. What will be our benefit in this life and year after. Number one, it gives an opportunity to know more about the religion. What religion? Islam, to be precise. Then number two, it helps to acquire more knowledge. Number three, the person will be rewarded goodly in this life and year after. Number four, Allah says, one who saves a life is as if he has saved the humanity and he will be rewarded accordingly. In conclusion, it is the duty of everyone who calls himself or herself an Ahmadi and associates himself or herself to the promised Messiah on whom he is to keep his uh, practices upright as the old world worships them. Even does not have sufficient religious knowledge to be a Da'ilala. One can still attract others by one's good practices. May Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala bless our modest and give us in his cause with friction and may he grant us his gracious approval as well as acceptance. Allahumma amin summa amin. May Allah bless us goodly in this life and hereafter. May Allah guide us aright. May we not be misled after he has guided us aright. Rabbana, Atina, Pidjin, Yahasana, 
wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaban nar rabbana zalamna anfusana wa in lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas sami'ud du'a assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakum allahu khairan sister shakira well package lecture full of um, wisdom guidance alhamdulillah rabbil alamin alhamdulillah kasira yeah um we have been sitting down since um, nine o'clock and apart from my own speech that i tried to put one or two your right inside i think we have listened to two lectures now so before we go on to the third lecture, I would like to call on our sister, Sister Olai Wola, to give us short commentary of the two lectures that we have just listened to, that is the Tarbiyah and Tablik lectures. So Sister Olai Wola, kindly make it brief. Interpretation in Yoruba. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Ibadan Ibabo won yo le fun si Oluwa won ni won si gbe kele won wa mu wa lo wipe bawo la se le mo ala won fun wa ni awon ona ti a le gba mo Olorun ba de da wa won ni ka to le ni okan to so mo Olorun ba yi won ni a gbodo ni mo to ni pa re bi e ninu awon ona na unu won ji alapoko won ni pe ni pa alquran gege bi atun won wi pe alquran ona ni uh, Islam, mo be pelu re nigba ku gba ti o ba ran ti mi ti o ba ran ti mi ni okan re emi na da lohun lo kan mi ti o ba ran ti mi loju gbogbo eniyan ma pon le loju gbogbo eniyan ju bo se ran ti mi lo ti o ba sumo mi ni won wo kan ma sumo ni won ifun wo kan ti o ba rin wa ba mi ma sare pa die a ma ri eleyi ninu so e muslim ni afikun nipa nipa se alquran ala ti so alquran kale fun wa lati ma pa ki a si ma fi se atona ninu gbogbo adawo le wa a le fi oju wo alqurani gege bi letter lati odo adeda wa si gbogbo agbaye ki a mu wa bi apere boya ri iwe kan gba lati odo uzuru wa tabi olori eh orilede kan a ni lati bi ya ti e mo itun mo to ta mo to wa ninu letter yen ti a de understand de de tun won fi ti a ti e de tun won fi ko ti ko ye wa e ma dinu pe mo tun so yin bo ti won fi ti ede ti won fi ko ti ko ye wa to a fe wa ni ti o je pe o mo ni pa ede yen lati tu fun wa be na ni alqurani ta wa ri pe alqurani letter ti alqurani ki se letter to ti odo omo niyan wa tabi e da kan ti e da keji sugbon o wa lati odo eleda wa ti se allah subhanahu lahi wa taala won ni pe ki a si ma ri pe a fi eh letter yi ti se alqurani yi a fi se ojupo na wa ni o gogo ogba won ni ohun ti a ni lati se ni ki a ma tele awon ofin inu re ala alagbara ti so fun wa pe inu alqurani nikan ni se mi wa wa sugbon le lo ni unu wa ni a fi asiko sile 
lati ka lu Qurani me lo ninu wa la nfi asiko sile lati ka pelu itumo re ati lati go ye ati lati mu awon ofin re lati mu lo so lo ba laanu julo ko se gbo awon ofin ko se ni irorun fun wa ala lagbara tu ti so fun wa bi pe inu alu Qurani nikan ni temi wa wa o sugbon se asetan lati gba alu Qurani gege bi ohun ti o je akomo na wa as godo ma lo as godo ma lo alu Qurani ni e to je bi pe olohun ba ti so pe ohun kan ohun ni ona kan gogi lati fo kan wa mo kika re ni kan si ni iran ti ala to dara julo ati pa pa ti te le suna ti anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam ona keji ni pe nipase atije ala agodo wa itumo akije olohun ba ko de ye wa dada ki a ma lo pelu akije re gege bi apere ki a mo pe olohun ba yi ohun na ni alcoholic aseda asami olugo ohun gogo alqadir alagbara lori ohun gogo olohun ba yi ohun na ni algofur oba ti foriji eda igbadodo igbagbo dodo to rin le ninu anu re ala ko setan lati fi ya je tabi ko wa sile o nbe fun wa nigbati enikan kan ko si o si setan lati tewo gba wa awa ni wi pe ki a se to lohun ba ka se ife re gege bi o se fi bi anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ni won se fi ko wa awon akije re n fi ko wa pe alaanu julo ni awa na gbodo ja laanu si omo akegbe wa a gbodo ja laanu si gbogbo eda si olohun ba da a gbodo ja laanu si gbogbo bi ti a ba wa be na ni olohun ba obo lolufe gbogbo wa ni a gbodo ni ife si eh a gbodo si ife si awon omo ni keji wa gege bi e ko si ijo e to fi npo wa wi pe a gbodo ni ife gbogbo eyan a gbodo ko rira enikan kan ni pa bayi ki a ma se so ire sinu o ni pa nu olohun ba o na ni wi pe a gbodo ri pe a n se dede pelu awon akije re a si nje ki akije re ko wulo fun wa o na ni oba alugo fur boya ti e ti dese kan to je pe a tun wo pe so lo ba le saporiji fun wa ni ta mo wi pe olohun ba n be fun wa nigba te nikan kan ko si o de se tan lati saporiji fun wa nigba ta ba ti se ironu ta ba ti gba ironu ta ba ti toro ironu pi wada ti a de pada si iru ese be mo nitori pe alaanu julo ni o si fe ran ko se anu ju pe ko fi ya je ni lo gege bi o se salaye fun wa ninu alquran Olorun ba ti o ga julo ti oruko sanu wa ti o si wa sa ko mu aforiji le ti an toro ko wa sa aforiji gogo awon ese wa fun wa ko wa mu wa kuro ni ibi ese le to je pe ko nje kari anu re gba ya ma wa ranti wi pe ile ti olorun ba o nbe ni to si wa ni gogo gba o de wa pelu wa lati se anu wa oluba ni soro to te si waju won ni pe isumala ti a le foju ri o na ni irun kiki ta ma gbe irun duro o ti se mo ti ki ato la n be fun so bayi wi pe irun wakati marun o da gege bi omi odo to san ni waju ile leyi ti an we ara mo ti an we ara ninu re be marun lojojumo lati se afomo are ni kuro ninu egbin a ma re ele ni so yi muslim eleyi to ka si pe irun kiki ipo igbagbo ati okan wa a gbodo ma yewo lo re ko re to je pe irun kiki o na ni yo ma gba awon iwa ibaje kuro lowo wa iru irun kiki wo ni irun kiki to je pe a fi okan si ba o la se le fi okan si irun wa opolopo awon eniyan ni won ma so yi pe a igbo adaru ba wa o na ni o ja mo ta so lori irun o na ni eko ti ijo muslimi abadi ati won fi npo wa wi pe ta ba ti ma aya kan ta mo pe ilu itume nigba to ni igba ku gba ta ba wa ki irun aya ta mo yi pe ilu itume yi okan wa o ma te si olohun ba de da wa a ti ma fi okan si irun wa ni gbogbo gba ya mo yi pe iran ti ala le kan lo se tabi losu ko to fi dagba soke emi wa ta ri pe an ki irun wa dede a se a de se ijosin wa bo se to ati bo se ye eleyi na lo wa je pe gege bi lajina imaila a gbodo ri pe gbogbo awon eto ki ala sile fun lajina o na ni an lo boya bi ma lo si ma sala si dede ni olore ko re ti a ba ti ni awon program wa ti won ba ti pe wa bi ru seminar eni ba eni ba ati e pe pe gbogbo lajina na la ti ma wa ni ibudo bi ti a ti ngo awon waasi ti olohun ba la nu julo ko ma dun wa ni awon waasi na ni asikun oluba ni soro won tun mu awon apere ona miran bi a le gba le fun ibatan alawa won ni ta ma wa ni awujo awon eni rere ta ta ba wa ni awujo awon eni rere awon no ma pa se dada fun wa 
awon ni won ma mu wa ranti olohun oba awon ni won ma mu wa ranti bi pe olohun oba yi o nbe o de o se ton lati gba ironu bi wada wa ko dari awon ise wa jin wa leyi na ko tun wa sha nu fun wa ni afi fun won ni pe agbodo ni igbagbo pe ala o wa ni tosi ta mo ri pe olohun oba nbe ni tosi wa o ngbo gbogbo ti a ti an bere lowo re ta ba wa ri pe adura kan an se ko ti ni tewo gba won ni ka ma ti ja kan ninu ah anu olohun oba na lo wa mu olubani soro won so nipa okunrin eh eni re kan to ja pe won ma nkirun won ti poko irun alakoko ti won po ki nipa pe won se adura eni to je omo leyin won o wa o joko pelu won o na ba won se adura yi won wa ngbo ohun wi pe adura to nse adura re o gba ni eni yi wa so pe won le soro o tu dojo keji won tu se iru adura be na won tu gbo ohun ye wi pe adura to nse oni tewo gba won tu de leketa won tu se be ngba to wa de leketa eni to je omo leyin ni won wa ri pe awon o le mu mora mo wa bere mi pe adura te nse won be npo tun won so wi pe o gba agba agba so ini e bu olohun oba yi wa so wi pe to se bi ojo meta pere ni wo ti gbo bi gba adura re ti o npo yi won won ti ngbo lati bi ogbo odun seyin sugbon awon de ku ninu ibe olohun oba wi pe ki wa ni iwo kini wo ja mo to so wi pe ka won ma to ka won ma continue ka won ma tesi waju ninu adura ti awon se so fun ide won wa ni pe leyin gba bi tete ti bi ojo keji ti isele isele o na ni arakunrin won wa gbo ti olohun ba so pe adura to tin gba lati bi ogbo odun ati gba lowo ore o ti ni tewo gba so ka ma ka ma ka ma ko rewe si nipa nu olohun ba ka mo pe olohun ba o wa ni to si wa ni gogo gba ti olohun ba la ni julo ko se adura wa ni gbigba won tu fi kun wi pe ta ma gbiyanju lati jere fi ala nikan ka gbiyanju lati jere fi ala ka ni fi olohun oba ka ni ata ka ni fi awon eyan lati ari ti olohun oba ni to ba fe fere eyan ka fe ni oro ni tori ti olohun oba a gbodo ko ri re ni kokan bi ti wu ko mo won ni ka ma dupe fun ala ni gogo gba won ni ka ma se irode bi wada tokan tokan ta si ko ma se adura ati iranti ala ni igba gogo ka ri pe an gbe ke ni olohun oba ninu gogo awon kudie kudie ke da bi adura ta ba se lori awon itosona wa ka ri pe an gbe ke ni olohun ba pe olohun ba o se tan lati gbo adura wa won ni ka ma ran ti ku ni gogo gba o gba da won le wa ta ba se ka mo bi pe olohun ba o nbe ni tosi ka si mo bi pe asiko ti e ni ko kan ti o da olohun ba o ko ni ko ni lekun be ni ko si ni deku olohun ba la nu julo ko ma je ka fun ni kekere sugbon e be won ami oro ju bi pe ka ma prepare fun ni gogo gba bi iku ko ba wa ni dada olohun ba ko sanu eni kokan wa de ta ma se eto pelu awon eniyan won ni ka fi awon ohun rere ka fi ku awon ise wa ta ba se lawujo ka ri pe ise rere wa o te won te bi wi pe awon eniyan won ma so ni pa won ma so rere ni pa wa ma ma pa eni ko se ri a fi be ijo muslim ti a ma di ani won ni ka wa ri daju pe okan wa ko kuro ni bi ran ti olohun ba ni bo ti o ga julo ni gogo gba boya loju orun wa ni tabi awa ti a so ola ka ri wi pe a se ran ti olohun ba ko wa se la dura pe ki ala se sun mo re ni irorun fun wa ki ala ma ran ti ki ala ma ran ti ka si ma ran ti ala ni gogo gba ki a le ma dupe fun ka si le ma just fun ti ona ti o re wa julo amen olubani soro keji ni eti won ba wa soro lori tabli won na ni ipolongu esi ni ninu islam awon ipa ati ojuse wa gege bi lajina imaila gege bi muslimi gege bi eni ti o ti gba imam adigbo o ti gba imam asiko gbo kini awon ipa ta nko boya lori awon alabagbe wa ni lori awon ijile wa lori awa gangan lori awon to je pe awon to je ore wa ipawo la nko lati je pe imole ta wa ti ri bawo la wa na se nton imole na bawo la se nton si won na ni eh won ba wa soro lori e won wa ni pe nipa eh oju se wa ki la le pe ni oju se won ni oju se na ni o to je pe on to ye ka se nti olohun ba pa wa la se lati se fun a awon eda eniyan kan 
won ni laji na imaila oju se wa ni lati pe pe si oju ona ala gege bi ala alagbara ti so to se pa wa lase ninu quran tri verse 105 o de to pa wa lase ninu quran 41 verse 34 awon obirin egbe wa o na ni aleto si lati pe si oju ona ala gege bi kalifa ti tarun ki ona ba ko ba wa lore mi baba na won se tun kan se ba awon obirin soro ni jasasa la na ti australia ni ojo ke dogun osu kerin odun 2006 ti won so wi pe ki aku awon iya tabi awon obirin wa kanjo ninu lajina imaila fu ipolongo esin o si gbodo je fun awon obirin nikan ni e fi ipolongo fun awon okunrin sile fun awon okunrin yin ki awon obirin wa ni ile eko giga ma se ipolongo esin fun awon obirin akegbe won ki won ma so fun won ohun ti a je ati igbagbo wa olubani soro o wa ni pe awon ona ti a le gba se ipolongo esin ninu islam won pin eh ona yi won pin si ona meta alakoko o na ni ninu iwa si wa ba o la se wuwa si ba o la se jawu ko se rere boya ni bi oja ta nta ni eh awon ile ise wa gogo ati ni agbegbe wa be ni ninu leta wa pelu awon si won jo ti a jo je olu olu gbe inu le ba wo la se se won ni se awu ko se ti wa o jo ti kari ola muhammad sallallahu wa sallam gege bi olodun ba se royin e ni quran 33 verse 22 wi pe ohun ni awu ko se to re wa julo ka wa mu awu ko se yi won ni se be na la se mu lo ni arin wa so alakoko o na ni ninu iwa si ka ki esi awon wa si wa won ni elekeji o na ni sise to wa si ta gbangba wa si ojule dojule ati wa si ori aye lujara won wa si fun oro won wi pe wa si itagbagba ati ojule dojule o si fun awon ta je obirin sugbon o wa fun awon okunrin won wa so wi pe nipa ti aye aye lujara yi na a le se obirin o le se wa si fun obirin akegbe re ko leto fun obirin lati ma se wa si fun okunrin ale keta o na ni ta ma ha awon iwe pelebe pelebe le ti ijo yi bi ta ma se ni gbogbo gba won ni ka tu ko ma se gege bi ta blig wa pe ta ma ha awon iwe pelebe pelebe to so ni pa islam to so ni pa imam maji ale salatu wa salam gege bi ijo ti awa won ni leyin na bi ka tu ma se wa si sinu iwe iroyin won ni kiko si ori aye lujara ati bebe lo won wa ni gege bi lajina imaila ti a ti da imam aji wa gbo gege bi isokan wa ati awon ijeje wa ti a ma so ni gbogbo gba pe mi setan lati fi emi mi ohun ini mi ati eh eh ati asiko mi ji fun esin mi ati ilu mi won wa ni gege bi lajina le ti a ma se ideri ni gbogbo gba won ni awon ewa wo ni agbodo ri latara wa ko to di pe a da je olupepe won ni pe alakoko o na ni imo a gbodo wa imo ki a ma ka ma wa imo ta ko eko alqurani pelu ese ati hadisi ka ri wi pe an lo awon imo yi an lo lati fi polongo esin ka ri wi pe a wa imo je ogo n gode bi pe ti a ba se wa si lowo ti won ba bi wa ni awon ibere a ni afani lati da won awon ibere na o se to ati bi o se ye imo ti a wa ka ri pe imo to se koko imo ti yo sa anfani fun wa laye ni bi o na ni ki a wa elekeji o na ni adura sise won ni iru eni be ko o ma duro sisin a de bi pe ohun se adura ni gbogbo gba a ri pe adura sise irun kiki e gege ba se so si waju ni wa si akoko ta koko se irun kiki e a ri pe ohun ki dede ki se pe o kikan bi kan sile a ri pe ohun ki irun dede leyin na a wa ri pe adura ta jude a ri pe ohun ki se lati ki ta jude o se to ati ko se ye leyin ye o na ni wi pe a wa ri pe adura ti o wo adura ti ah olodun ba fi ko wa ninu suratu toha quran 20 ni olodun ba ti so fun wa wi pe rubbish ro li sodere wa yasiri le hamri wa lu li ko data mi li zari ya fo hu ko li olodun ba si okan mi paya ko si to ahan mi so na ki won le ba gbo oro enu mi so a ri pe awon ni ka ri pe an tunu ma adura yi ni sise ni gbogbo gba so lo ba ko ran wa lowo won ni atugbodo je o ko se rere gege bi atika si waju pe rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam awon ni awon ko se rere to re wa ju won wa mu aroba kan wa 
nigba ye ka do la mu omo ta la lo wa salam nigba ti olodun ba ti o mi si ana bibi pe lo ma je lo ma pe ipe si oju ona temi olodun ba pe emi olodun ba kan soso ni won ni mama kan ni ojo na pe won pade mama yan ma ru ko ni won wa ri pe mama gbe eru da ni won wa gbe eru lowo mama pe won ba won ma gbe eru na dele nigba ti rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ti won wa fe ma lo mama e wa ni pe ah wa o ki wa ma mi eni ko ti je ilu ni sin o muhammad ni won pe o salalu wa salam pe iwa re o da o ma gbogbo to ba so pata pata ma gbo o eni buruku o sa ro yin kwari ola muhammad salalu wa salam lai da sugba ni kete ti rasulullah salalu wa salam ti won se ma ro ma ya wa bere yi pe ki ba ti re dijo mi kini orupo re o so emi na ni muhammad salalu wa salam ti e so to ba je wi pe iwa redin eleyi daju saka je wi pe ma se esin islam latara wa to ogun leyi bimi ti e gbo nkan kan mi mo so bi mama ibon se darapo mo ijo ado se padarapo ijo islam ni asiko yen ni sa wa ri pe awo ko se yi o na ni mama wo ti won fi darapo mo islam ti awa na ka wo awo ko se anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam loro ni se ati ni iwa siwa Olubani soro fi kun wi pe iru eni be to fe peyan si ojo ona ti ala o gbodo ni igoya to pe igoya ti o je wi pe oni be ru enikan kan ju olohun ba lo gbogbo ibere ti won ma bi lere won na o ti ni yo ti ko eko gbogbo awon eko tablig ti won fun wa ko fi le je anfani fun wa ni ka ri wi pe an ko dede mo ti baba gbo wa si re ka wa na awon obe ti won so fun wa wi pe kaka ka wa na kaka ka de gboye eyi ni o ran wa lowo lati polongo a ni igoya lati le polongo fun araye won tu wa so nipa ifarada won ni pe iru eni be gbodo ni ifarada to so ka mo pe nigba ye ka do la muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam orisirisi oro ni won so si anabi wa muhammad orisirisi oruko ni won pe rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sugbon pe ki anabi binu ko binu o tun wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam o tun le fun ninu daada fun si won ni gege bi alquran ni fi ko wa wi pe quran tun ba tu awon ra fi ko bi pe ki a ma se suru ta ma ni farada bi pe eyi o si soro jojo sugbon o wa ni odo awon oni re le oko ta ri wi pe a ni ara wa sile ni gogo gba ta ri pe a je ni olure ra ni sile a ni igberaga kan kan ka ma se igberaga tori pe ta ba nse igberaga eleyi a ma ko ah ki lo fe so ju pe yo se igberaga e na do fun ani 30 lati gbo wa ka mu emi igberaga ka mu kuro ninu alamo ri wa ta ba fe ji oru pepe to to lati kun won ni ninu oro si oju ona ala a ma rele ni quran ko 57 verse 8 won ni pe ani lati ma pe olohun lati ma pe awon eniyan si oju ona ala pelu awon nkan ti a ni pelu awon oro wa ka ma se wi pe ba mu ba mu layo emi o mo pe bi npe ni kokan ta ba ri a gbodo sake si awon ti a fe se wa sisun a gbodo sake si awon ta jo ngbele a gbodo sake si awon ti a jo nse ise po ni ile ise wa tabi ni ile igbaja wa a gbodo wo won pa ki lo se yi mi sisun gbe oju yin ma ko re o ma ko re re to ta ba fi re we si ta ta ki e ibale okan ta fi ba won soro a ri wi pe wa wa so ti o se won fun wa lata da ba de ti gbo wi pe nkan to se won ni ki na ni ti o ku ta ma se na ni pe a ma se anu ta ba wa ni ikapa re lati se ta ba wa re ni to je pe ikapa wa o to be a ri awon to je olori wa boya present wa ni je omo wa ni tabi anybody so pe e jo eni ti mo se polongo ifun o need you come by o need you come by lati le ran iru eni be lowo ki olo ba la nju lo ko je ki a le na awon oro wa si ona to so won te si waju pe anfani polongo esin si awujo kini pataki nigba ta ba ti gege bi laju na imaila ati polongo esin fun ani a polongo esin si fun awon awujo ki wa ni awujo ma ri latara wi pe a polongo esin boya ni wa wa ni se wa ni loro enu ta ti se ki wa ni anfani si awujo ma ni won ni alakoko na ni pe awujo yo le fun ninu ipaya ala tori pe ta ti so fun nipa olohun ba a le fun nipa ipaya olohun ba o na a ni isumo to to si olohun ba won ni elekeji ni pe iwo iwa omo lu abi o ma po si lawujo ko ni si pe boya enikan se awon nkan ti o to nitori ko ti gbo wa si nipa re o de ti gbo nipa ipolongo won ni 
Eleketa ona ni awujo o ma wa la lafia nigba ta ba ti so nto ye ka wi pa awujo ta awujo na si ti se ton lati tele awon kan yi a ri pe gbugbu wa na ni a ma wa ni alafia won ni a tu wa ni anfani si pe a polo ngo fun gbogbo agbaye gege bi olodun ba se firan imam adi ale salatu wa salam pe emi ni moro ni se ma wa je ise na de bi pe ma ran e lowo de pe o je ise na de bi gbogbo awon ogberi koko kan patapata ina ni ipe emi ti olodun ba ipolongo yi ni oni yo ti se de won wa ni kini anfani ipolongo si olupepe gangan awa ti an pepe gege bi lajina e maida awa ti an pepe gege bi eh eni rere ni awujo gege bi olodun ba se pa wa lase won ni pe kini anfani ta ma ri me won ni alakoko anfani ni pe awa na ma tun lekun ninu imo imo ita mo tele awa na tun lekun ni pa re won ni elekeji ni pe a tun je ka wa imo si gege bi olodun ba se so bi anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam won se so bi pe ka wa imo lati ori ise se ori ise so awa na a tun lekun ninu wi wa imo ti olodun ba yi won ni eto tun da bi re na ni pe ala yo so ru eni be ni esan olore ta ye bi ati ni ojo gbede alukiamo awa bi olodun ba ninu anu re ni pe won ba ti aso yi olodun ba ko je ko se sore ni okan eni kokan wa atemi to so atawa ti agbo robana ati na dunia sana san wa fi la akirosi asana san wa kina azaba na robana la ti sin tubu bana ta da ja de ka na wa habi la na fi la dun para ko ta ina ka salwa ha robana ta ko ba mi na ina ka ta semi la ni मोहम्मद रसुल्लाई मोहम्मद मुस्तफा लाज नाई माई ला नाइजीरिया Any bag we go away, any bag we go away. Islam will be mean to me. Any bag we go away, Quran will be mean to me. Any bag we go away, Muhammad love me. Any bag we go away, any bag we go away, any bag we go away. Al Quran is the main thing. Anybody who are we narrate a bill. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alani. So far, so good. The translator has really done a lot to explain it very well, and I hope everybody that has been listening to the English version and has been complaining is now satisfied. Olu abaje ki anwo rono mo she gbaeti wa wole lotu oni gba osi jade. A jo ko si okan wa a si le je ki a mu lo bo ti to ati bi o se ye jazakumullah khaira so we move on to the next um program the next thing on the program which is rita nata rita nata um e ko igbeyawo ba ti ye ka gbe pelu ara wa ona to ye ka gba ti a fi ma gbora wa ti o pa ti yawo a fi gbora won ni agboye ti oni je agboyi So the title is knowledge, communication, and commitment. The requisite threesome to a blissful home. Ipe eko ibareni soro ati ibagbe po pe mojuo duste ati ba eni keji mi be papo. Awo kometa si o shishe fun. Ile ala ile ibagbe ala la fear. I hope I've been able to translate that. So, but I know that the person that will take care of the topic will do it diligently. Likewise, immediately after the our sister, Sister Lai Wola, will also translate. So, the person to take care of this topic is Sister Swebat Odeyemi. So, over to you, ma. Salamu alaikum. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka nabdu wa yaka nasayim. Idin osrata al musafim. Surata al lazina alam ta'alayhim. Gwarn mabdud alayhi wa la dalin. Amin. Alam wa sali ala Muhammadu. 
our protocols daily observe. I give our glories and adoration to Almighty Allah for giving us the opportunity of getting seated here and all over Nigeria today for this program. Enjoy my view. Uh, my attention has just been called to the fact that we have been sitting since nine o'clock. So wherever we are, let us stand up and walk around. Let us exercise ourselves and be listening to our sister. Sister Sueba, continue with your lecture. But let us exercise our body. Sister Sweba, go on, please. Yes, ma'am, let's back to business. Let's get back to business. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I observe all protocols. Ah, we are most grateful to Allah for keeping us alive in and active, even in this terrible and tumultuous time. We are whatever pray that Allah continues to place us under his gentle care and benign protection. Amen. Similarly, we beseech Allah to show us his choicest blessings on the noblest mankind. The only Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as well as his enviable assembly of companions, his lovely household, and by extension, the global Muslim community to the day of resurrection, Amin. Prehambu, the topic before me today, is knowledge, communication, and commit, commit and commitment the requisite result to a blissful home. So, by preamble, the world today is a theater of crisis and catastrophe. Global peace and security is long lost luxury. Peaceful coexistence among the community of nations and even across sister tribes in many a sovereign nation, is fast becoming so unrealistic and unachievable. Not to talk of religious harmony and unity in diversity, and the situation looks agonizingly helpless and irredeemable for the family, which is the smallest unit of human fraternity and naturally supposed to be a haven of bliss, peace and tranquility is crisis struck and tension abounding. So where lies the headway? The fact is, every family is a microcosm of the universe. As such, failure to achieve marital bliss and tranquility at the family level will sum up to a chaotic world, devoid of every iota of peace and tranquility. Hence, the peaceful coexistence of the world exclusively depends on achieving sustainable marital bliss and harmony. This is constantly summarized in the, in the popular Yoruba magazine, Bo Deodio, Big Benin Luri. This roughly translates as there can be no peace and bliss in the larger human society when the family is devoid of peace and instability. Therefore, it is imperative to achieve and sustain a happy and blissful home in our respective matrimonies, so as to restore that bedrock of global peace and social stability. The only Quran says, and I quote, 
in the name of Allah, the most gracious, uh, the most gracious, the most merciful. And of his signs is that he has created for you from your kind spouses that you may find tranquility thereof. And he has placed love and mercy between you. Surely for you, in that are signs for those who can reflect. Al Quran chapter 30, verse 22. From the verse of the only Quran quoted above, it is wise to conclude that the ingredients of a peaceful matrimony are more importantly a blissful home, a mutual love, trust, understanding, fidelity, empathy, beautifulness, tenderness, support, forgiveness, larger sadness, and mutual respect for each other as a couple. All these are possibly summarized as knowledge, communication, and commitment, and perfectly judge the requisite reason to a blissful home, without which one will be left with a house as against the desired home. A house is an edifice made of iron, rods, and bricks, while a home is a haven of peace, bliss, harmony, and comfort. Knowledge. Now talking about knowledge as a requisite condition necessary for the attainment of a beam school. It is important to state that the intent here is that true knowledge on the basis of aqua, which brings civility and tranquility in its bearer. Allah, the most exalted says, certainly the ones with true knowledge will only fear Allah. Quran 35, verse 29. Therefore, every spouse is expected to display taqwa centered knowledge with respect to his dealings with his partners while coming alive to his duty, obligations, and responsibilities as sanctioned by Islam and culture. Only to a reasonable extent, as culture may be blatantly prejudicial and preferential as the case dictates. For example, the Yoruba will say, meaning that only a weak husband who stoop so low by doing something as debasing, as detaching three slips away from the stock. Meanwhile, this is particularly not true, as doing that may be born out of love and empathy for the wife and not a sign of weakness. As such, one is in need of genuine knowledge of the pristine truth, which should be further centered on piety before that this goal can be accomplished in one's matrimony. For instance, it is widely assumed, especially in this part of the world, that domestic shows such as cooking, cleaning, general maintenance and sanitation of the house, washing the dishes and clothes, almost every day, moral, spiritual, and psychological training of the child, and a host of other routines, strenuous activities, is a collection of the exclusive preserve for the why. Why this is partly true, yet it will not be too out of place for the husband to lend a heavy hand out of empathy and tenderness for the wife, hoping on Allah for handsome reward. The only prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is reported to have said, be merciful to your women, lest they become like captives unto you. As a result of being constantly overboarding with shorts, talking in Muslim. The wife on her own part too, should not feel overbearingly entitled to such kind gestures or develop lustfulness with respect to her duties, but rather to show sincere appreciation as it provokes the display of love and empathy, and also support the husband as and when due. The prophet of Islam is also reported to have said, whenever anyone extend a hand of favor to you, you should reciprocate it. Even when you do not have the wherewithal to do such, you should at least pray for them to such a degree that they will only be feeling appreciated. Similarly, it is also believed that all financial obligations and undertakings must be solely on the husband. 
Why this is essentially true as confirmed by the Holy Quran chapter 4 verse 34, men are guided over women. On account of the fact that Allah has placed some class of people above, above others. And because they spend from their ways for the maintenance of the family. Yet it is decided that the wife augments in her own little way, as the case may be, with a bid to alleviate some of the financial burden on the husband, hoping on Allah for answer reward. The only prophet Muhammad Allah was Salah for that defnage. You will agree with me that no one would do the afford mentioned, except that one whose knowledge is essentially based on tafwa and not some ego or self concited pride and complex. Moving further to communication. Communication, considering communication as another requisite for marital bliss and harmony, it is often the case that divorce and other unwholesome ventures springing out of marriage nowadays is a direct product of unsettled scores and protracted altercations. As a matter of fact, conflict in a marriage is as natural as anything, but the ability to effectively communicate with each other as a couple, get scores settled promptly, and move on with mutual forgiveness and large heartedness to tolerably accommodate the misdeeds, excesses, and phrases of each other. For no one is perfect. He is so germane to the attainment of a peaceful matrimony and blissful home. As such, every successful marriage is a union of two repentant offenders who would communicate almost immediately after every quarrel and squabble, and mutually forgive each other, having learned one or two lessons going forward. The only Quran confirms that man has been created with so many imperfections. And I quote, and man has been created imperfect, Quran 4, verse 29. It is only wise that each spouse communicate to his or partner over it or uh, abhorring imperfection in a civil and homely and homely manner. The partner in question should try his or uh, utmost best to fight off imperfections. And this should be a continuum. It is very likely that one finds a particular attitude, disposition, habits, character, or even mannerism of one's spouse extremely displeasing and infuriating. The wisest thing to do in this situation is to calmly call the partner's attention to such a thing, whilst also looking for an alluring quality, habits, character, disposition, or even a trait to complement for the blatant defense, as advised by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Wasallam. Wherein is reported to have said, a husband should not detest his wife, for if he dislikes something in or about her, he will most certainly like something else in or about her. So he will most live. Unfortunately, some couples keep malice and forsake each other for days, leaving the essential cause to fester or even degenerate into enmity or even in severe cases, undue separation or divorce because of trivial matters that could have been settled internally. The religion of Islam frowns at the brother one's brother in faith for more than three days. Personally, I would say that keeping malice and begrudging each other by a couple must not exceed a day. As three days may be too late, may be too long before effective conflict resolution in this regard. As a matter of policy and pacification, the one who is on the hairy side can present gifts to the offended party after the resolution. This is in fact a prophetic advice. The only prophet of Islam is wanted to have said, extend gifts to yourselves 
because it takes away all kinds of rancor and grudge. Jamil saw, saw his dream easy. Then in another narration, he said, give gifts to yourself and love between you will rebound by hierarchy. Commitment. Finally talking about commitment as yet another requisite of marital bliss and blissful home. It is not worthy to mention that no union can be successful without active commitment of the two parties of the two parties. Every spouse desirous of a happy home must be ready to display firm commitments with respect to his or her duties and obligations, while also complimenting his or her partner in his or her own responsibilities too. Cases of infidelity, sex strife, marital abuse, assault, and domestic violence, and a host of others as a result of lack of commitment on the part of every spouse with respect to happy marriage and blissful home. Every couple must collectively strive to make their union a haven of bliss, harmony, and comfort, such that they become part of the solution to global unrest and instability are not a part of the problem starting with their own very matrimony. This high sense of commitment is what is required of every couple, especially as Ahmadi Muslims that we have. We should bear in mind that the church caliphate of the promised Messiah As Rad Mr. Nasri Ahmad has said during one of his visits to Africa, that if we are able as Ahmadi Muslims to resolve one third of our marital conflict, then we will rule the world. This means that if we are largely able to accomplish marital bliss as Ahmadi Muslims, then we will become the abigails of global peace and stability and truly be able to fulfill our defining ordained obligation. But if in the contrary, then the real purpose behind the establishment of the Jamaat will be defeated. By and large, we must remember that if thought loses its taste, nothing is left out of it, but only to be thrown away. Having gone through this presentation, it is pertinent to ask the following questions. What will happen if we fail in our responsibility to create a heavenly bliss in our homes and consequently in the world? What is the consequence of a failed home or a failed generation? What about if one of the couple is committed and the other party is not? What should be done? The solutions are summarized thus. If we as couples fail in our responsibility to create a heavenly bliss in our homes, Lots of challenges to set in. And where the challenges are not addressed timely, they would generate into frequent disagreements, lack of mutual understanding and trust, suspicions, chaos will set in, and separation will also be imminent. And all this will further have adverse effects on the children of the family. Children from such homes are affected morally spiritually, physically, and psychologically. In most cases, such children take to, to crimes like armed robbery, drug abuse, gang raping, etc. And in numerous, and numerous social vices, such as cyber crimes, drug trafficking, nice clubbing, and so on and so forth, thereby causing problems to the society and the government. It takes two to tango. However, where either of the couple lacks commitment, the party at the receiving hand to, for the sake of, the, of our children and the future progeny, exercise a lot of patience, caution, and also seek spiritual solution through violent prayers and fasting. By this, Almighty Allah, who answered the cause of the supplicants, as stated in Quran chapter 2, verse 187. And when my servants ask thee about me, say, I am near, 
I answer the prayer of the supplicants when he prays to me. So they should hearken to me and believe in me. That, that they may follow the right way. Surely, Allah will guide such a person to and change the erring partner for the best. In conclusion, at the end, I pray that may Almighty Allah imbue in us with that requisite treason to a peaceful home. This knowledge, communication, and commitment, such that we may together engender a peaceful and blissful world. May He inspire in us with the faculties necessary to live within expectation, expectations reposed in us as a community of the promised Messiah. May He bless us with monitor harmony and bliss, such that the great rock of global peace and tranquility may yet again be peaceful and blissful itself. Allahu Mohammi. Robano la suzi kunu bano. Bada is the data no wabla no mnajuka ramo tayo no kanta you have. I most sincerely thank you for your attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah haira sister Odeyemi. Yes, without wasting our time, we move on to um Sister Laiwala for a short translation. After which, um, Dr. Absalam will now check the chat room if you have any question. Maybe Dr. Absalam should start checking now. So really after the transition from uh, Sister Olaiwala, the question and answer session will come up. So Sister Olaiwala, over to you. Assalam <laughs> ni Ero jante ale pe ni ero jai dile ala yon. O ona ni, ifi ay shetan, ifo kantan, agoye, ifa goni no are ni, ika anu, si she o ju she ni, ifa rajin, ifo la wa, afori jin, ako le kan, ifo wa fwa re ni, ati be be lo. Watu she la la ye yu pe, ifo ale pe ni ile gite, ni e yiti afirin tabi amokpo, Shuban, he delayed too much tea, a year bo, one lafia, he fell on, I think for combat. Then to Jaipe, he delayed for con, no ya showed you who go back by ye, see Jack Lebati by a bee, only Latin go back by ye, little pay your babble, one knee, what do you do? Big Benny Luri. Tabo go back on Cotton Shell and I yet, no journey. I yet to do, 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 I yet go, don't you are a remon. Stop Jerry Pay, go back and want forty a man, my dear, let's allow to us allow. See one year, my shell, and see or two less allowed was a top of pay, your marshal and young ones for a lay, or tin shell. Let Jerry Pay, a man, my dear, to what I let's allow to us allow to what there at two shell, go where, or none want to take yas for ye. See, John Smith, my dear, that's in Colon Go, every pay, a man with a shell in very red, or two one, it does see. That is. I want that sick book. Go by one while I don't shall let me go back by yet. Oh, you're not by that, would you know? For Jackie, Joy, thought if yes, the mullet, and that for Jackie, I to let yes, the mullet. Nibble back by yet, got to get your lay bouquet, it will go, it jumps to meet your food. Nee, after cook, once on your pa, ah, a quarry, eh, you bad is sorrow ye, one ye, you man, you bad any sorrow. Ati ifaraji, 
ori se o wo elo meta fun ile fun idile alayo won wa mu leyo poko won ni pe imo won ni bi a ba so nipa imo gege bi okan lara o wo elo idile alayo an so nipa imo otito ti se takua ipaya ala ala lagbara so ninu alqurani pe daju daju awon to paya ala ninu awon erusin mi ni awon oni mimo fun idile yi na ko laya kokan to gbodo ma fi ipaya ala so kan pelu ekeji re nipa sise awon jise wa ninu ebi gege bi islam ati asha to se fi po wa nigba miran a ma lero pe gbogbo ise ile o je ti yawo ile nikan sugbon ki se ese ki okoran aya lowo ni owo le wa ni le yoruba nbi a ma so wi pe oko ba nge olohun oyo sugbon ko si to buru ninu wi pe ki oko poro yawo re lowo lati le se awon ise ile kokan ki a si ma re ti esan olore la lati odo eleda wa ojise mi mo sala luwa sala mi so wi pe e je ala nu si awon obirin yin ki won ba ki ma ba ki won ma ba da gege bi eru ke awon iyawo na ka ma fi emi ki ma fi emi mo re han si oko won ki won ma ro bi pe boya ojuse eh iran lowo ti oko won se fun won o je ojuse oko won ki won ri pe won se ah won se won fi emi imo re han si won ni gba gogo ojise bi mo sala luwa sala tu so bi pe nipa nipa ku gba ke nikan ba na wo anu si yin e da pada gege bi o ti se ke ko ba si ni ta pa lati se be e se adura fi ru eni be o se se ki adura yin ko se de de ore to se fun yin a ma ri eleni sunan abu daud be na ni ani igbagbo wi pe gbogbo inawo ile pata o je ti awon oko gege bi alqurani ori kerin ese ka arudin dogoji won se salaye fun wa wi pe ati se ati pe awon okunrin le je oga lori awon obirin nitori a wi pe apakan won agbe apakan won ga ju apakeji do sugbon obirin obirin na le ran ko re lowo ki ala si san le esan olore nitori pe ta ba nduro pe awon oko nipa ni won ma se ojuse yi a ri pe ojuse nu le nibi ti a oro ile aye to de duro yi a ri pe ojuse yi yo mehe latara awon omo wa ta ba si mo wi pe ta ba ri pe ojuse o ti mehe ninu ebi kokan a je wi pe ilu na ko le toro olo ba la nu julo to ma je kinu le wa ko daru sugbon ojise la mu omo sala luwa sala won tu ti fi ko wa wi pe ojuse obirin kan ko le pe lo lo ala aya fi ki o ti se ojuse re ni kikun fun oko re a ma re le ninu ibn maja fu ide yi a wa gba pelu mi gege bi lajina imaila ti o ti shetan lati je iya ti o ti shetan lati je a olumule duro bi pe awon ise won ita ti ta soke yi ko le rorun fun wa aya fi ni odo awon onirele oko ki ona ba ko se wa ni onirele oko ikeji ti won fi ba wa soro o na ni iba re ni soro isoro ni ki a ma le ba re ni soro ni ona to re wa ko si eni to pe tan ninu idile a ti mo pe odaran meji lo wa oko ati aya awon mejeji won gbodo gbo ara won ye nigba ku gba ti a ede aye de ba sele awon mejeji lo gbodo gbo ara ni won gbodo gba wi pe awon je bi bi eni kan ba se asise ke eni keji pe si akiesi ona to re wa to dara julo ki se ko di sinu eni ti a fi esun kan na gbodo toro aforijin ki o si se atun se lati ko to ye a ko gbodo yen o di oko ko gbodo yen iyawo e lo di be na ni iyawo ko si ase fun lati yen oko re lo di ti won ba se ara won ki won pe ara won ti akiesi ki eni ti o se ko de gba wi pe lo to ati lododo lo n se ko de se atun se o se to ati bi o se ye ki a si ma ko ibaje arin ara wa pelu ife ati anu ani lati ko ati mo pe gege ba se bi alqurani se so awon oko ma duro lori wi pe awon na ni alase ninu le sugbon awon ona orisirisi ti obirin to file ko iwa baje fun oko o na ni pe ko lo ife pelu e ko pelu anu ko pe sa case pelu oro to re wa 
oro to tutu to na ba laarun julo ko je ka le se be oju se bi ma ti ki atola n be fun so wipe opoko ko gbodo ko rira iyawo re be na ni iyawo ko gbodo ko rira oko re ti o ba ri nkan ti ko ni fe si lara re o ma tun ri awon kan miran to ni fe nipa re ohun to ba ni ninu je o ni ki oko ati aya ton ma je ara won sinu titi ti ko fi ni si atose mo ju iko sile lo ninu a sunati anabi wa muhammad sala ali wa salam eni ti o je bi to de tun se afunse igbese to tun ye ko gbe o na ni lati ra ebun fun eni keji re le ti o se gege bi rasul allah sala ali wa salam bo se so wi pe e ma fun ara yin ni ebun nitori o ma gban gbogbo aipo are niye ati ipo sinu danu amari eyi ninu jamil sohil dirimi fi eleketa o na ni faraji ko le si ase yori fun idile kan lai si sokan laarin oko laya won gbodo ni faraja si awon oju se oko kan won gbogbo oko laya gbodo ma wa oju tu si ai looto fifi e to eni dun ni nipa ibalopo ibalopo aigbo are niye ati bebe lo idile ko kan gbodo wa gbogbo ona si idile won yo fi wa ninu abo to pe ye idunu gbodo wa o gbodo wa ninu le ipo kan ba le ati ise lorun o na gbodo wa ninu le nitori pe karan ti pe gbogbo awon eso ta pese yi gege bi loko laya awon na won wo gbogbo awon ise si won de gege bi owe yoruba ta so wi pe ba de odun bi igbe ni ilu ri ti ko ba si ipo kan ba le fun awon omo wa a mo pe won jare ka kiri oko omo ni ni le iwe to je wi pe oni fokan si awon kan si olukon ko won tatari inu le to ti wa tatari awon ija ti awon obirin ti won ti ja lati le wa ti egbon ninu aro ba kan omo ti kan won bi lere pe ki lo ki lo ruko re o lo lori buruku ki ni oruko ya re o lo lo se mo pe awon kan to ngbo lati enu awon obi e ninu le oni won yi so agbodo ki esi gbogbo awon kudi e kudi e yi laarin loko laya ti olo ba lanu julo ko ma se wa ni awon ko se buruku fun awon omo wa gege bi a se so si waju agbodo je ai tun se ala tun se agbodo je gege bi lajina imaila agbodo ma wa oju tun si gbogbo ai ni sin mi to wa ni agbaye eleyi ni are ti lati owo idile kokan papa julo awa idile amadi agbodo ma fi oro kalifa keta sokan ashraf misa nasir ki olo ba ko ba wa yonu si won eleyi ti won so nigbati won se abewo si ile africa pe gege bi amadi ti a ba le tun ida meta ninu awon gege bi amadi ti a ba le tun ida meta ninu awon darudapo inu igbeyawo to nigba na a le dari gbogbo agbaye sugbon ti a ba le se be a je wi pe idi pataki bi da ijo isile ko ti ifoju won to eyi lo wa mu a olubani soro mu ibere meta wa ani wi pe kini to ma sele kini to ma sele nigbati a ba kuna lati se oju se wa gege bi olohun ba se firan wa ni inu ni awon inu le wa ati ni gbogbo agbaye won ni kini o ma je ireji ile ti o dawo ile ti oto ati pe kini yo je ireji awon iran to nbo kini yo ma je aburu ti ru be le fa ani pe kini nigbati a ba ri ti eh okan ninu awon toko laya ti won ba to ba se to je bi pe ohun o ti ma o ye ohun lo wa ni ko bi pe ohun lo se to je bi pe eni keji nko ko si ese kan kan fun won ni kini ah kini to ma je solution kini ti eni keji to ma se ati wi pe kini o le je a ko le ko le fa ki a di di daru dapo tabi ko sile ni awujo awon ati awujo igbeyawo kini o le mu opin ba o wa so ninu oro won wi pe ni to le mu opin ba a ki ko sile o na ni wi pe 
ti abari eni to shetan lati ki igbe yawo re ko daru olo ma da igbe yawo waru iru eni be ko shetan lati je pe gbogbo igbe se to pe nigba ko fe se igbe yawo o na ni o tu pada gbe iru eni be ko pe gbogbo awon ti won wa ti won jodo toro yawo ko tu wa pe won pe to won ti fe se iposile o iru eni be ki won pa wa tu kora won leyin ki won pe je ki won gbogbo party ti won se ni jo gbe yawo ki won tu se party yen na pe to a fe kede iposile pe ta ba le se leyi pe a ri wi pe o ma di igbe yawo o ma di awon daruko po inu igbe yawo ati iposile o ma di ku jojo o tu wa si kun oro won wi pe ti a ba so wi pe awa ni jo aye gege bi laji na ma ila a tu podo iyo wa o tu podo dogun ti a ba tin ba kude kude ninu idile lajina ta ti ba kude kude ninu idile amadia a ri wi pe ati se tun igbese ati se ni igbese aye awon eyan se a fe ni raji e ka de ran ti wi pe olorun ba lo pe wa awa lo pe lati ko yi ta je ire fun omo niyan a ma pa se dada fun won a si ma ko ibaje ka mo wi pe olorun ba o se tan lati bere lowo wa to ba di jawo ni kiamo won ni pe ti oro anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam won ni ti eru kan ba de to ba ba olorun ba re to je muslim mi ododo won ni olorun a bi lele bi pe nigba to de le aye ipowolo ba islam igba to fe fi aye sile na ipowolo fi islam si to ta ba ran ti awon ko yi ta si fi se akomo na igbese aye wa a ri bi pe gbogbo igbese aye awon omo ni keji wa na o ma wa ni alaafia ki a ri wi pe idile lajina imaila idile muslimi ti ahmadia ka ri wi pe idile ti wa oju ogun iyo wa oju ogun nigba ta ba so wi pe inanjo e je ka bu omi pa ina ta tu wa denu kan ja to je wi pe a tu pada ba ina ni be se ri pe o lewu ejo tori to olorun ba e je ka ma ni lokan wi pe ti o ba di ya mo li ki amo gbogbo ta wa se laye pata olorun ba bi wa lere a bi wa lere gege bi obirin bawo la se lo ije obirin wa si a bi wa lere gege bi iya le bawo la se se iya si ninu le a bi wa lere gege bi iya omo bawo la se se igbese aye awon omo wa si a bi wa lere ni gege bi aya oko bawo la se ipo wo la fi oko wa si bawo la se lu oko wa se a wa lu oko wa dada ni abi a wa kan so wi pe to baba baba gbogbo aye ti obirin ba ti so wi pe baba gbogbo aye o ni omo a ri pe gbogbo awon oju se to ya ko se fun ru oko be a ri pe amehe ka de ma ran ti wi pe awa na gege bi iya le abi okunrin abi obirin nti a ba se o na la ma gba gege bi o ni wa si akoko ti won se so fun wa ni pa ko lo ngo esi won so ni na oro won wi pe nti a ba fun aye o na laye ma fun wa pada so ka ri pe so wi pe gogo igbese wa a se ko se to ati ko se ye fun awon oko wa to je pe ara bo re je lori omo lori oko ise po lori awon obirin a tu gbodo wa se laye bi ka tu fi wo ina a gbodo se ko lo ba ko yin si wa imam maadi ale salatu wa salam olodun tu wa ran lati ko yi ani mo ani muhammad rasulullah sallallahu wa sallam ani alqurani to nju to nju wa we wa si ona rere atun ni hadith anabi wa muhammad sallallahu wa sallam lati ko ti wa yi atun ni imam maadi ta ti gba imam maadi gbo ale salatu wa salam gege bi imam ati ko wa ha wa ko wa si aguja re kan kan fulajina lati so wi pe ohun o re ni to n pe ohun si da case gbogbo awon lecture awon wa si pe ta ti n gbo ati ta tu ma gbo olorun ba la nu ju lo ra je ko wuro fun wa laye bi ati lojo gbe di aduka mo ke aran ti pe ipo ta ba fi awon omo wa si o na ni eh a ma ba ni ojo waju bi awon ba o la awon me yo se jo oju loyin fun wa laye bi ba wo ni gba ta ba tu pa poda na ba wo ni awon me yo se ma se adura fun wa awa na la gbodo se ise yi ka ma file fun awon baba lo to ti awon baba na wa nbe sugbon ti wa gangan o loju olorun a de bi wa lere ko lo ba ko sanu wa nipa ibere na to ba di ojo gbe de alukia mo ko je ka jere re la ye bi ka si tun je ere re ni ojo gbe de alukia mo mo wa fe so ah gbogbo akori awon lecture meteta de ti ati se lataro won ba wa so nipa ipologbo esi o ba wa so nipa eh igbe ebiro be na won de tun ba wa so lori bawo ni ase ni isumo ti olorun ba ta ba wo meteta yi a ri pe meteta nsise po ni ti o ba si ti dile o ba to ko si bi eni ti dile re o to 
Kosi pa ngo pura la re. Kosi fe ni agafia. La di pe pe si ojo na ti olo ngo ba pe lu la kaye. Ito si nje la kaye na ni ima. Ba wo ni ogo she fe la ye. La di pe ko lo wa ima. E jo to ri ti olo ngo ba je ka fi ara wa lo kan ba le. A wa la jina ni to ri ti olo ni fe wa kupo. O didi fun wa ni o didi sura kan ninu agbadu Qur'ani ibi ti Allah ba to pon wa de Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam o si tun ti pataki ije obirin o tun fi ran wa so awa ni ka ma si awon anfali ka ma si won lo ka ri bi pe an lo dede eleyi ni o le ran wa lowo ninu awon ipologbo esin wa ninu awon oju se wa si awon obi wa oju se wa si awon omo wa oju se wa si oko wa oju se wa fun gbogbo agbaye lapapo ki olodun ba laanu julo ko ma ra awon ibiyan ju wa ko ma ra lare awon be ninu anu re ko sanu eni kokan wa ko wa mu islam ti ahmadiya le ta ti wa ninu re ko je ka le se ka fi bi ka fi bayi olodun olodun ba pade ta ye bi ati ni ojo ogbe nbi alufi amo awa se ni adura wi pe ki olodun ba laanu julo ko jogun awon ohun elo meteta le ti won fi se iwasu fun wa imo agbaye laarin ara wa ati ifaraji ko jogun efo eni kokan wa ki a le pawopo fun igbese aye lapapo ni alaafia ki a la fun wa ni iyanju pelu awon agbara pataki lati gbe igbese aye bo ti ye gege bi muslimi ti ahmadiya ti o ti se imam madi ti a se ideri re ki a la bukun wa pelu idonu ati isokan laarin lopo laya ninu eyi ti alaafia ikokan bale ati ayo yo je ti gogo agbaye ta papo amin lo ba na lati si bulu ba na ba da is ada isa na wa habi la na min la do ba rahmatan ila kanta wa ha lo ba na ta ko ba mi na ila kanta semi wa alim amin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i told you that i don't understand yoruba you can see how explicit she was in all her explanations jazakumullah khaira eh won ti ba wa se agbe kale won yan na e dada o suro pe gbogbo alagbagbo yi olohun ni je ka gbagbo yi dr absalam is there any question in the chat room You have no question. You have no question. Is it morally right for a woman to initiate sex? Is there any repercussions for it? Is it morally right for a woman to initiate sex? Is there any repercussions for it? Ah, Rista Nata lecturer, over to you. Initiation of a, a sexual intercourse is not specifically meant for either of the partner. It can come from both either of the two. It's not regarded to be the right of a particular one of them. It shouldn't be one-sided. That will even further spreading the love between the husband and the wife. So it can be initiated by either of the two parties. That's one of the to Wa alaikum salam. Is there no repercussion? He asks whether there is repercussion if the woman should be the one to initiate sex. Um, that can be very small, very. One in there, out of who bring, that in the world, at the same time, see your coin. As we pay, kini ready to my one in bed. Um, nipa, be ni, gala be la no si. Ibara any shape a co. Hm, yeah, a Joshua, one major genie. Who in bad on major geni? Oh, see, Baba, I'll call up for the ma. No way, see, I won't be go back. Be a question net or Latin, no way, see, I will say, no, you are not saying that to Latin, no way, see your way. To repair them on our journey, I want major gi. For the sea, that di coco. Hmm. Islam. Ati ni 
oju kan so ni ade eni ti e pe boya won se kaaka kiri se lo bi se lohun to je pe si odo ko eni eto ni fun be la da si tu be fun papa asalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ite so fun wa eni pe ajo n gbadun ara wa ni be eh eh so ti ba wa la todo e ba si oko lo nowo eni o abi iyawo lo nowo eni o igbadun ni fun ra wa gege bi alqurani ti so yi pe aso obura la je fun ra wa we are garments for each other we are garments for each other so i can as well wear my garments anytime i feel like it as my husband can wear me as garments likewise i too can decide to wear him as my garment it doesn't yes, matter ajo n gbadun ara wa ni so we move on to the next question sister sister absalam okay yes ma'am my question goes to to a young couple of just a year plus the wife is not committed to the wife in the sense that the husband provided a job or business for her to be assisting the family financially but she said she is not interested in doing anything and demands a lot from the husband but the husband says she doesn't want the marriage again what can one do to help that kind of home It seems as if whenever we get to this issue of Rishanata, questions always come from all sides. So, Rishanata, lecturer, over to you, ma. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Others also will contribute, but uh, before that, I will, I will also say mine. Ah, you're about to say it, but I don't care what you mean. I'm a better lady as a social you pay upon the Oloria Yahoo, the Loloria B. Only yet, so that's my question. So, Bob, I want to see a woman at a Tony that I want me. Did Jenny me money or we won your new loan? So, what's the best? No, the best, the best. No, I should see you can we pay or bring no, let the gagger be a rule, only drug a girl or a lot for a coin. Back by near your deal, need look back at one is he. The way you look for far off. Ossi <laughs> Share <laughs> Tiko ti ra mi ta pe tele ta wo sele en to si ti baje to ti ja ti o muju ti o da bo mo nko ta si ni fo wa sise to lohun o se nje o le ro gbo be abi ti o ba wa je pe o fe sa fe je la ku oko e ona bo lo si fe ki okun yen ko ri iran lowo nko to to fun obi yen ni pe o gba iran lowo ti oko de ma se fun o de ma so ti se bo ti ati bo se o de ma fi adura ko ma fi ran ko yen lowo ti olohun ba ko je ki fe won ko le do ti ni mo ko de le tu ba ko tu se Yes, you have nailed it. We have another question here. A lady graduated from the university at the age of 18 to 20 years. Her father said on point that she is too young for marriage, that until she is 27 to 28 years of age. And the lady want to avoid she to Zina. She wants to get married and the father is warning avoid the annoyance. The father is warning her against marriage. And there is this avoid the annoyance of your father. What can she do? iru omo be ati e kokoju pe na wi pe iru omo na o ni agoye pe ba se igbe yawo pe igbe yawo atete se o no daju gege bi awon ni mimo ni won se so awon ni mimo ti imo science 
won ni pe ki obirin ko tete lo sile oko pe iru awon mo ti won ba bi at age of 18 to to be 27 or 20 25 or 27 pe iru awon mo be pe age won pe awon mo ton ba bi yen pe won ma ni opologan si eto eko ati gbogbo ton ba nko won bayi won ma tete ye won se wa ri iru omo be ti o ti se ton lati je pe ko se igbeyawo ti awon obi re ti o si fe ki won binu si ohun a ni won ni ko ko si bo se le buruto a ni alafi sun gege bi yoruba se ma nso ko wo awon ti o le soro yen fun boya ninu ebi tabi to ba je pe iru eni be je amadiya to je omo nu ijo ki o pe awon eleto gbe biro ko pe won si akiesi ki won invite ki won pe awon obi re ton pe ba be ati ye kan ba won soro ni tu bi nu bi kan se kan fi awon anfani ti o wa ninu iru igbeyawo be ki won ki won salaye fa won obi e boya ti won ba tun se lei olorun ba a tun mi si iru awon obi be a de je ki o rorun mo ki sister wa na ki olorun ba laanu julo ko tupo se dada fun yin agboye na olorun ba ko je ko te tun boye Ah, a lot of Yes, Amen. Because um, the question was asked in English. I think um, Sister uh, Abdul Salam should just translate what the two questions, the answers to them in English briefly. The first question. Okay. The first question was that of says that can the woman demand for test? And as the lecturer has rightly answered, yes, the woman has every right to demand for test. And as added by the Sadar Saiba, that we are garments for each other. The Quran has called us garments for each other. So you can use your garment anyhow, any time you feel like having it. And does it have any repercussion? No. If the woman is sincere, if the woman knows that she is not the type that is wayward, then it has no repercussion. The husband know, knows the kind of woman she marries. So she, the husband will not even think the other way around. Although in this part of the world, it may be looked upon as, as why is she demanding for sex? But Islam has made it known to us that it is not out of place for the wife to demand for sex. The second question is about the woman that was empowered by, that refused to be empowered by her husband, but she is demanding. Well, as stated, in this time, if the question had come up maybe 50 years ago, we will say, yes, women are comfortable being full-time housewives. Now, with the rate of what is happening in our society, no woman, I repeat, no woman would like to be full-time housewife. Even if you say you want to be at home, you will be doing one thing or the other, maybe online businesses just to gain income. I know the woman in question must have been educated, her parents must have invested on her, and she too she will be willing to gain something for herself. So as rightly answered by the lecturer, she should try to, she should, the other one should get some people to talk to her that it is not wise for her to wait for the husband to buy her pad, to buy her uh, pepper uh, or on this or any to meet all her needs. Not because the husband is not having enough or not because the husband is shying away from his duties but because as a woman, she too must be able to put in something forward. We should be able to be helpful to our husband. It was stated in the course of the lecture that we should be able to contribute something. The wives of the Prophet Salam, some of them were involved in the in business. Alra Khadija was a businesswoman before she married the Prophet Salam, and so many of his wives they yeah, also do one thing or the other without affecting the whole, which is a primary responsibility. The third question. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I think since we are on to, um, we are supposed to have started the 
interactive, interactive section. section. Okay. Maybe we should just put those two questions. We should just hand over those questions to the um, anchor exactly. of the interactive section. We are trying to get across to Mrs. Sodi. So the young first salary is standing here for her. Oh, okay. Okay, before oh, we Mrs. go, Mrs. Balogun is here and Elijah Akindele. Okay, okay. I'm before there. we go on to the interactive session, I just want to read this. This is a message sent to one plan, one of our platform. Like, was it not yesterday? Yes, yesterday night. It says it is on marriage. It says surround your marriage with other functional marriages. Marriage is like a plant. If you surround it with weeds, it will eventually get choked, wither, and die. Therefore, plant your marriage among other well-maintained, well-nurtured, and functional marriages. Marriage flourishes in a community of other strong marriages. Pray that your spouse will choose to surround himself or herself with marriage-minded people. People who will encourage him or her to be a better spouse. People who build and not destroy your marriage. Do not be misled. And a verse of the Holy Quran says, Yeah, you are Ladina Amanu. Takulaha Wakunu. Akunu Matokin. Yes. Be, that is, all you will believe. Be in the company of the righteous. That is, always be in the company of those people that will have the same faith with you, that will encourage you in whatever you do. And the Bible says, bad company corrupts good character. You can find that one in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. So none of the recognized religion even supports bad company, supports ill advices. So let us surround ourselves with people that will encourage us positively. So we go on to the interactive session. The anchor, as said by Dr. Mr. Salam, is who? Oh, Who is the answer? Dr. Olulawa. Dr. Olulawa. Region 4 Sadar, ma. Region 4 Sadar, yes. Dr. Mutiat Olulawa, please unmute yourself and start the program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, ma'am. Glad that it is an honor to anchor this interactive session for which I'm standing in for Sister Shakurat Sodi, Region 10 Sadar. Who is unavoidably absent. Seeing them shortly. Before then, we have, we have been listening to the seminar so far, and on Rich Tanata, we had a lecture on knowledge, communication, and commitment. The Rekusa three song. Sure, we all have gained something. May Allah make it easy for us to imbibe now. But now we are moving on to the interactive session where we'll be throwing questions to our panelists for them to discuss and shed light on them for us. Our panelists are Sister Suibat Odeyemi, the present general secretary for Ladina Imaila, Nigeria, and the immediate past Sadar of Region 2. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa The next panelist I'll be introducing is Sister Fauzia Akindele of Region 2. She is a member of the National Rich Sanata team. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum Okay. The third panelist is Sister Mudirat Balogun from Region 1, a past Sadar of Agege Mukomi, now district. Aslam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay. Um, if you are aware of the matter, it's a one, isn't it? Ni eh ipelele nkan ta ma so ni pe afe se question and answer our questions kan ti set kan ti send in tele la won panelist wa fe ba wa wo awon panelist awon ba ni soro wa so ma koko bere la to do sister suebat ode yemi for the 
for the first question. Sister, as we about today, Mima. Okay, why is something about that too? They said, as the month of Ramadan is fast approaching, many young men. are getting married at least to an other marital relationship which will make lawful for them once they are married but what can the man do if eventually the lady he gets married to does not know how to cook <laughs> the question morning it will be a will listen. But about that, baby, make you day to report on felony, legal sexual relationship, be a bala any loop. I think we call it your dano, sorry, dano is she no fun. Now, one baby, no, I pick you a marsh a leo, see ya, go a little by Jack Bay, ya, what a fair tea, she and it all lay soon, Jedada, picking you up on it, no ma, to my she, a yoma, about a damn willy. That's all the pounds of the barracks. My example, the Ramadan <laughs> for <laughs> no talk with the Ecobo or Pudies, the other one, it's your Bioma. Sorry, but some of my dad, Banya Bewa, that I want to be our town Palemofu. Oh, I want to share so much any of what I pay to call Mojo Tono. Of a damn only a coin, you offer shop to share your fashion buffer, but a jacket, but you see, I will be a not about the city, more who got a crony, they call the city of Pony. Tell me about our bar and you will be a Oh, my dear, pay you, Benny. You are your own fair man. I live by any one last of my dear, much to get you away. Why, she are well, but here, won't just say, Oh, she might not want to find it, but I want to go to Darcy. I'm more sharp, one shade, so worry, baby, not did that. I don't get to the mallow did it. I want to be your woe, Tabi of your call. Not about to say, Yaw, far more. The yaw call on my telecosy. Yaw, I will not on my telecosy. A gong call a bullet telecosy. Et Quand 
to n sele si ifa ba ti ya ko wa sha case be won ni ya ko kan wa won se si yawo mo ejo kan ni pe o fe gba ipade kan pe ki yawo mo n ko wa to ko ko mu yawo mo eseyin won jo lo soja won ni o je ki yawo mo ma yo wo oja won ni pe to mo de bi eleran gba tan da 3000 leran o ti mura ti so a a ya ko nya a o ti e ni yo wo e ni ya ko wa yo wo eran tan ko ni 3000 won ara bi 1000 naira mommy and on top of you, 1,000, 3,000. 1,000, you are going to go to the patient, you are going to go to the shop. 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 You oni ko ma gbe ti won lo si ile so o ya gbe ya ti ji afa lo ya da jo so o te oni for that period oko wa le wa je olodo ma me mu ma to tu wa ya to nje ti ton ko tu be si ni wa mama si ri pe o mi pe o nje ti ton ni e ama e to so pe so fun yawo e pe ko wa yawo tu wa ya so pe mo tu fe gba meeting mi o o tu mo mo e lo o tu jo lo shopping mi o tu jo se nje mi be e ba tu se ton o su pin die fun but to my feet, the tall time to my share somewhere only about my debugger, but my feet are going to go find the thing. But why do you? But why do you find it only mommy? If you move first, they lay you. I said, they must be careful about me, she must say. Only what I say, she won't jay in me. As time goes on, what you pay, what you want to get on, say, you go away at a point or conduct of my way, go fair food, restaurants, food, your own, that's a matter of one day. So, see your coin, see the body. Yeah, one more get that be and it's your more she tickle there who are the amosi that when they are down. So you run on between the station and pay by a suru only a mass in your jewel. So if you might that tickle by one yes, it could make baby by a one year with that could any back on me. What it is me like could any back on the quiet quiet. That is it. All of my question you are. I don't want to jay your mono bin. The cash shallow yam more. Oh, my people won't come off and my chef one more. O ma joko wa so nje fun a joko wa fa bo atune se ka mo pe ojo ola won o se pataki o se koko fun won ati pe a de ni ba won lo si le oko won olon ba ko sha ni fun asa ma de won ati wa para pataki Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ba wa ko ma Ko lo wa won mummy wa fun kokon so In summary what she told us was before going to husband's house we should try and learn whatever we need to learn It's not even for the benefit of the husband or for even for our own self and to daily oko ti o mo nje se se ko ni so nje fun ara even gba ti o ti lo le oko we should aspire that when we are going to our husband's house we are not taking only our body to the place okay ya we dey mere there must be other things you are bringing to the table learn whatever you need to learn before going there and alhamdulillah from the example she gave us the mother in law really tried to help the daughter it's not a case of ah Hey, by me, oh, yeah, what tea or come and tell your mommy love fell, come my mom, come and say, and she did not even try to shame the um the daughter in law. Unknown to her, the mother in law was trying to train her without letting her. And no, we don't see my witness, and then fell as far to follow her. The next question I'll be taking. Am I audible? Hello, Jazakumullah yes. Haran. Yes. The next question I'll be taking, I'll be throwing it to Sister Balogun. They said a family of six 
of father, mother, and four children. Out of these four children, they have only one daughter. They are all Hamadi Muslims, but the daughter insisted that she has is going to marry a non Hamadi. The father has withdrawn all his responsibilities on the daughter and is even threatening to send the mother out of the house because he believes the mother should know about her daughter's plan. What can the mother do? Eja Kintuni Yoba, one family, he pay a mommy for Baba, Mama, to Momeri. You know, Momeri, he, Obene, Konshukere, Noni, Amadi Muslims, you know. Now, Obene, your Pantoni, Oani, no, Namadi, Lentuma, Fe, Lori, a lady, and a commotive, but he. Baba to decide the pay to the paper or more fair fair Amadi Muslim. So I fetch it to the air for your west. Only be back for me or go if you for. See, in that your or to be banging. In shallow, you give our family. You want to joke of papa. You want to joke of problem. You want to share do a little. He is your long day about share going. Keep a buyer my share. Eh, Ijakule ti ori la ti ori o mwenye, kuma sheli ori ya wè. Baba gongo gongo fonre, olo ni, ojudo wè Ijakule, ni nò lò to, ni nò lò nou le wò. Ni ti to di pe, bò ya ni bò bà si bò bà ta, an to a wun mwenye, o kose tre ti lori 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 a wun mwenye, o kose tre ma fi wa to asuko to je ki omo yen ni oko omo ti believe ipo bia anything ti ba ti mu wa fun daddy mi ni daddy mi ma gba ni nsin bayi to wa di pe omo wa fe ta se agere baba wa fe ma sele iya lori nigba to je pe iya gangan fun re ko o se pe bia bi pe omo kokon ninu nkan to sele awon kunrin yen won de ma gba gbe pe awon mama yi won se je doctor na na je nurse awon ni time keeper awon ni gba ki gba ti problem kokon ba ti fi di wa sele ninu be ori mama ni won ma dale so ki baba yen ma gbe gbe se kankan lori pe boya o fe o fe ko iya we sile idoju kan ti won ni ki won jijo doju kan ki won jijo baja olorun de fun won ni segun lori eni ki baba yen gbiyanju lati mo omo okunrin to nda omo elamu ti ko fe je ki omo yen gboran tabi to fe je ki omo yen ta se agere ko gbiyanju lati mo omo okunrin yen leyin gba yen ki baba yen na wa invite awon missionaries ki won tun bo omo yen ni idanile ko lori iru igbese to fe gbe ni titori pe omo to je pe lati gba to ti wa kekere na tin to tin po epo eh on eh won o do no sira o lo ibc o o te bi po o to the lajina at the end of the day kiru omo yen ngba to wa fe ma ri ko wa je pe gbogbo e po yen o ma da bi we said effort ni ni ibi ki bi to ba gbe lo tori pe ko le omo yen o de se ko fe jade lo si any program ko ko e fun laye e lo si kan ni jeta e tu fe lo si kan ni e lo si kan lanu e tu fe lo si kan lola o saye lo ma ma gbo sugbon to wa pe inu jo lo mo yen ti ni oko to je pe gbogbo bi won won ti jo dagba sine ni gbogbo bo de se lo lopun lo si ran ni won ti jo mo o omo yen omo yen o le se ko fun fe lo si any program ko pe so pe ko ma lo sugbon to ba ti bi de je pe se lo ba ti tese agere to ti jade gbogbo e kan to ni ninu le ni bi bayi o fe lo da nu si bi ti o ba lo ni so baba yen o gbodo binu abiju Latara wike bi abikwe asuko kwa ya wè sile. Koni kwa ya wè sile. A wwa meje ji nan nan ju nan ma shi a kishe ni be latara wike konsi a dula. Ki wwa fi do ju kwa problem ti wwa ni. Asalamu alaikum wana mwa tida ya bala katuma. Wa alaikum salamu wa rahmatu tida ya wa bala katuma. Jazaku mula wa hayran ma. Um, ni shokini nkantan bawaso on the question. Our panelists said communication is key and good enough is one of the three some attributes that we are looking at today. Communication, she said only. 
Because if it is looked at critically, we'll find out that one way or the other, the father too must have contributed. Maybe the girl being an only daughter, maybe she has been favored and she has been a daddy's girl all along. But even at that, the father is always the head of the family. So it is a challenge that should be seen as a collective response, which all of them must face headlong. And the insistence on marrying a, an Ahmadi Muslim is for our own good. There is no way a non-Ahmadi person will allow the wife to be attending our program. understand all the things that we have been doing. So they said the family should see it as a problem and should stick together to address the problem. The next question will be for Sister Kindele. The question goes thus, is it right to make a man whose wife is far away, the rich Tanata officer of the Jamaat? How will he understand the practical aspect of issues? To cotton be any pay, she or let or show ton or she got to your cash, she nicked with a bath in your rich tanata, lock on me, and to my and to one in charge with tanata, it will be bureau, co a jack way of connect to jack way, yeah, walk on Shotoni, cook bag bay, nibitoa, or totony biton bay, but on my point, you walk on me by, show my lay, show my lay, she is a toy a coche dada. Show my lay, understand, show my ye, the day to day, Kenya, and what to my need that she. Over to you, ma. As I live for what to the barakatu. Well, I live for some to the barakatu. A tourist and a tap. A total shape at a kidney. Today, me, the experience. Papa, I want to have to want to pay me no be yaw. Put your corner, you will be in you to fail cost, but to a new day of cost. A beauty one in what he fair ya way yet to But experience in one fish, she is an attack. He shan't got anybody only was of a moment by. Because a young tea by me, my one key of only me could come without sort of sorrow. Tell me to put him married, only I will meet you. What only I walk on only more than she might die joining. Only pay ya walk on the new less feelings. Come back and die joy, ya will near and to the I will meet you. Or to spy a meeting on that invite the bed, eh? I listen to what she wanted. I will start the banana wire out, and I be lower to show to share. So, so to do real that is cheerful, continue so for my share for you, or to bail away. So, go to Norara and to a poor work, a Luya way. Do you keep your mom, my young? Go up a Luya way, so then you put it to put your mother, you pay the one too. She shall pay a little pay or wish this year, or no more joy. It's like committees won by that. Last about to lay, no matter what to allow, who are sherry stand at a fully month of a somber around for sorrow and bell. As I look for Motilaba. Well, it was a lamb or Motilaba Barakati. Jazako Mula Hiram. In a summary, what she said is we have to put a round peg in a round hole, not a square one, yes. if you know, fit in. That it is whoever can. Um, can work hard in a role that should be put there. If the rich Tanata issue that they are handling is one bit in a polygamous family, then we have to ensure that it's somebody that, ha that has two wives at home that we bring in to come and a judge in a situation that we have that. It's not that you go for a bachelor or somebody that has just one wife to come and answer in, in a situation that we have somebody with two wives. So we should always make sure that we put in place people that can perform in that in that role. I'll be moving on to Sister Suebat Odeyemima. The question for you, Ma. The question for you is, what can you advise a woman that has husband, and this husband is always cursing the children. In some culture, woman man feel a husband that is always doing that to the children. What can you advise the woman that marries such husband to do? Over to you, ma. Over to you, ma. Over to you, ma. Over to you, Over to you, ma. Over to you, ma. 
a je ki awon omo wa to ba je okunrin e je ka mo awon wa si ko da yen ka awon na ma re pe nkan to da yen daji nse de bi ta awon na ba marry ton won continue ninu trend wa ti baba won go je pe ka wa mo awon awon baba ka ma ri di ko lori awon omo wa o but ka mo bi a se ma ma fi oro olorun ba ma fi bo won ka ma fi awon adis olorun ba to abi adis na ba mo no sara na sara to ta ku awon iwa yen ka ma fi ma omo yen ese ku ran to ta ku ka ma fi so ka ma je ko ma mo pe ko se nti ko ni alebu e do to amosa to mu ko to ba je alebu ku ku ka le gba jina si ka le gbadura pe ko lo ba ko gba wa gba ko se asa wa ni ko ara mo ti wa gba wa ni ko salam wa mo ti lai wa barakatu jazakum lahu khairan ma Um, to summarize it out for when the man is in a good mood, when she can talk to him and he'll be able to listen, it's not when he's cousin that she too she will now go there and it will now become too fighting. We have several unanswered. Prayers that we are still praying and hope. So, how can we now add causes to it? We should appeal to such man and we should talk to the children to, to be calm in the face of such events. We should pray for the man every now and then so he can have a change of heart. And we should endeavor to always point out to the children values to emulate and bad habits to keep away from so that they do not grow. And think that causing children one thing. You cannot ask her to go for divorce just because of that. She's already married, you have been told to cut on bad that but for those of us who are still outside and endeavoring to come into the marriage, um, married life, let me add this. Please let's learn to watch out for red flags in relationships. You want to marry somebody, you went out, maybe you are in somewhere that you want to eat. The person that's supposed to bring the food or they bring water and they just pour in him. You are not yet inside though. You still have the chance to still go back. We should watch out for those things. When you meet somebody in months and somebody passes, ah, we they buy we Those things are for me. Then tell him that ah, as much as Timothy pray or on you, I'm concerned about so 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 things. If it can change, then it's still better than when. We have already got in home. May Almighty Allah assist us. The next panelist I'll be calling on is Star Balogo. I lead away from each other, and the wife needs to get some things done. Most times, the lateness of the husband in giving permission can make things difficult for the wife. And we know we have been told that now the questioner is now asking, can she go ahead and do some things without his permission? See permission yeah, but see the kidney and let's tell it told me that she check by lay wafu, let's go and let share one kidney, a beer shenny. Over to you, ma'am. If it's your being here, so fair law. Go see the bear, shelly, go shelly shake back at it. You won't buy it, but you go back, shake up your people, but so far, or for baby, for your friends, me by lying Latin law, or near to Latin law. Me by a carrier, eh, Momo Salana Lim was salam. Money, salam. Money, oh, oh, being for a babel ya. So. Eh, our lay Babel was so funny, be up where you pay Araba Bell Yao. That's a copay up a simbe. But Lani, I may be a sham, baby, get a big condition by Bell, Pepo Shawas, Sile, Tico, Tico, the Lonti to repay, go so far, quay, go to the pure quay law. Well, Baba T. Sikas at Batti, eh, or Comafi, poor old lady. So one large quarter and was he or the Rasulla Salah was Salah. Rosulu la ide je ko ye won wi pe sunna ni obirin yen tebe adura ton mama se na ni pe ko lo fun baba yen ni alafia ni won ba igba ti oko e o ti sinde o si ko se fe kuro le ba kan na rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam awon na lo ki 
omo won obirin kan so iba ti baba se ton rati kuro nbe omo sin baba e so ngba ti yawo ma ti omo won ma fi kabi iwon ese ma run lo ba duro gba ti baba boju e ni oro mo no ba ri pe a eyin do duro si ni se o si oni gba to be kuro nle bi pe oko won so fo npo wo gbodo gbeju iwon ese ma run lo bi pe gba to nle ti gbe iwon ese ma run yen ohun o fe koja bi ase to ko npa un ni pa be rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam so fun pe o pada si re pe ni se to ti kuro lodo titi won to ti wa ni le ope o gbugbu ase patapata owo ope lo wa so ni gba ti eni ta ba wo gege bi asiwaju wa ti o awon ba le take root decision yen ki wa ni awata wa je eh omo eyan lasan lasan o si bi ti obirin e fe lo o gbodo ri bi pe o ngba se ni odo oko e ko da ko ma le re pe boya se bi mo kon be de be yen lasan ni oko e gbo to mo gbogbo yin irin ese nitori pe igba mi gan ma wa o ma o ma sise fun obirin yen because ibo mi o le lo si bo mi ko ma da gbere ka won e bi oko e pa de embe tabi ka won ore oko e pa de embe sugbon ba ti o ti o ba da gbere boya ninu pe won won soro to ba pa de oko ko de ba mo de ri alagbaja ni bi bayi bayi won de ka si rin kurin fun ni titori pe ko ka awon to fi sinu le ko ka won fun nigbati o n jade ninu le ko leto ko bi ni jade ninu le ko ma so ko ma da gbere fun oko e ta ma le re pe boya eh irin ajo kan ni o ye ka so abi wo ni ko ye ka so ko si ko da ti ran fe lo si mo salasi baba la gbaja won ti gbe mu lo si mos ko o se pe bi abi pe ko bi ni kan mu gele e ko kan jade kuro ni de ko de lo si ni ko fe lo to baba ka ran gida pata pata pe bi abi pe eh oko e o si nle pe abi pe eh oko e ise oko e je mo pe bi abi pe eni to travel ko si bo ti le un kori o si ma ni eyan kan na ti eh oko ma to ti oko ma fi won si gbe ai nigba to lo pe bi abi pe baba oko ni o pe a buru oko abi eh egbon oko to sa je pe bi abi pe lara won eni to je pe obirin yen na leto si to je pe o le da gbere fun ko to ri pe o fi le sile o se pe ko bi ni kan jade le bo se un pe boya mi my husband abi nko da se so ko kun wa jade le ko ma rin ni bi pe ko se ni ti o le ba mi wi so nigba ki ba to bi ni ba jade ko gbodo ma rin ni bi pe eh ko se ni to le ba mi wi ta ba fe jade mi ni le o ni dona ka so foko wa ko to ri pe afu o le assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakum la khairan ma in summary she has made us to know that we should ask for permission always we should ask for permission always in the days of the old prophet alayhi wasallam she reminded of, of of someone whose father died then and she couldn't go because she did not tell her husband before the husband left home so what could be more important than a father's death that we now want to go out without seeking for permission these days internet has even make it a lot easier you can always call the demand does not have to be present there to give john always jazakumullah khairan ma the next question should be for the next question should be for mr dem before the next one here has been answered during the question and answer session about the lady that graduated from the university at the age of 18 to 20 years that the father said she's too young for marriage until 27 to 28 years of age and this lady want to avoid zina she want to get married but the father is warning her to avoid the annoyance of the father i don't know if sister kindele still has anything to add to the answer that we were previously given ma sister kindele ma Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sorry, oro yin omo yen o ti se daja ko lo ba ko se igbesi aye ni rorun. Amen. Because mo to ye mi to ton to ye ko ye wa ni pe eni ka eni to ba mari pelu fajinity. Won ni arin ohun pelu Ologun oba peki peki ni. O se adura to ma gba Ologun ni gba. Osura sara sara so pe lara won to ma wa pelu awon ijo gbe de aluka mo ni 
Omobin to ba de ma ri pelu fajinity e adura to ba nse o ma n gbadada awon mo to de ma bi awon ma lagbari ka la omo yen ma nje to sha ki se ti omo yen gbe yen ti baba o de gba to ba wa ri be yen gege bi nkan ti won so afikun emi ni pe awon jomo won lati pe baba yen ki won ba baba yen soro on la gbo nkan yen pe o ko ja oro omo yen ti se dada ki baba ma mu omo yen gbe ti baba ba wa ko je le pe owo ni gba jo mo ni ase lati yan wale o yan baba fun won se ni kai yen fun ko de ma monitor ni kai yen pelu oju rere olohun ba wi pe omo yen ti e se daja o gbe gbe se to da o ye ni kai yen o ni daru albari ka de ma ma wonu etisi then ona mi tun wa ti oro yen tun fi se le be yen o le je pe oto nkan ti baba yen ni ni mind gba mi o le so pe di to mo yen mu wa to fe fe yen ko ni owo lowo ari awon obi yen be se pe ibi ti nkan ti da won pe olohun won fe suru lere olohun ti se ogo ni pe ko mari bayi kini mo de nfe o ba so mo ba si lohun lo le opo won ni duro di duro yi pe ta ma so support se ki le nfe te ma se waji ki lo sele o ki lo se gbogbo gbogbo ko be won won ko ti je ko sa lo pe ka ma support awon mo wa tori ko je pe wa pe le to mo ba se marriage gan a si let us si won ba o yo ko ti ri ise yawo lo ni ise so gbogbo nkan be yo ma n bi iru oro yen ti baba ma fi yari pe o ti ko en to mari o si ma re lo mi ma wo ri omo de si ni en ko ni so to oro yen jade si ta fun omo yen bi pe nkan to le ma ite ni en to ko be tete je won omo so mo ro awon young lajinos si wa gbogbo to ba niru challenges bayi ko ma je ki o wo lenu won ko pe to ye wa si because nkan si sele ta wa na da si ta de si se lowo lo to pe to fe fe omo yi ti ready jo mo ni o se pe ko se jo mo olohun ti ready la gbogbo to ba n fe awon ma se fun wo baba se so yi pe rara ko ti ya ki lo fe fi se to fe fe fun ra re ni ba to ri fe fun ra re ki lo ni mind dia ti won sile ka ona lo bere life mo to ba ya won ma ni nkan dada to ye kon ni o ma ma wo owo owo ni opolopa won bi e o bo tinu won ni come out e nkan to nse awon ni yen ata le ko awon ti la ba wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh eh she gonima eh mi samari she told us that the child has done what is right so the jamaat may have to step in and appeal to the father so that the kafir the father can leave her and let her get married to avoid getting into zina or doing things that are unlawful and we are advised that we should not be too materialistic as sometimes parents want to reach in law for their children even if we think that the future is bright the future is today come but as muslims we should learn to rely on god and trust in him marriages are not made overnight most of the successful couples that we are looking at today they too they start from somewhere so we should encourage our children if they want to marry early if they are marrying someone that we think that for now he does not have the capacity we can support and make the marriage a meaningful one for them Jazakumullah khairan. The last question I have here is for Sister Suhibat or Deye Me is on when issues are reported to the headquarters. When we have marital issues that we now said, okay. okay we are. Going to report it to the headquarters. People are next step to take. That's views have been reported to the headquarters. How long? I found the one on Um, when it comes to the head. 
you are if I can make clarification. You are talking about the procedure for resolution of a marital conflict, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, ma. Um, we know that of all the permitted things by Almighty Allah, divorce is most hated. And Islam, that Islam, Islam stand on divorce. Allah. And as such, the Jamaat also is working in tandem with that Islamic principle. So when there are marital issues or marital conflicts, this should not be taken with levity. At first, still comment about it. Shakes, if we won't share a line, you're quite here. Who see what they say, I bet they are not to share your due. But I will be one or dancy about what you want dancy to one equal. A pound will carp on your due. The next thing, if we or you want to get your record or you can't do it in Jamas level. While I'm a very sanata bush one, oh, I like Jamas level. But they circuits back on you go to our day headquarter. Saba and then it is a Jamas level to go bar to a bar in your juke. The next thing you go on the post from below sister kids one. Tama Baraka circuits now in conjunction with three sanata executive one. Saba was shaking it to one, nobody went to shake shake. That is when they can take the issue to the national exporter. For the national exporter, no, my sister Luria, my Jarabura will last you pay on your jewel. Some of our Jarabura put on by the way, I want share for the young two. By any of my glosses, it's like on the It's like on the team, I'm not moral information. It's like coming to our moral information. So, one try, that's the problem about when you're doing bed. And it's about that you pay away anyway, it's in why you are by getting what? Why be your jewelry? She did she last week pay? No, she had to share any yet. Keep a book with the good year, you go by the lost seal queen. So, by the plan, it's like on me tea, at the book, you are going on to. So, by the better don't do down, fair man, they can come a lot on you. By no way, if you want to see the Kalukumaloni or talk. But some of my pay, Jomo, who are all Jomo, if you bear for a month, it's too calco at tea, Yawo. So call up a bush and a fuwa. We bat here, Bafe, a colony, Bayawo. I got a fear of a lot of drug as she was. At the bottom of my way, was to see any time fair. I was in cafe and we were calling yet as we pay when he could batty to me more. Tabari pay, he shall see it. All of the sea and way, Lano Jamon, at the Lano Tial, who ran for the left one. Oh, better, Kiamat or Boy Rui, where you are obeying, come out here, Carabori, where you are obeying. So they pay as a more week pay. Not so much in the so much for so much in your quartier. What a tobacco or you come? Ni one fee baran won't be key while I eat all day about one to one in the best. I ay, I won't make it. Papa Oberry, the new man for the far, but I won't come on you too. All of Bacosha, no for one. Get that be a quartier. I am a corner to be a fair shake. Come off you for a moment, while me come out of bed. Why, me the like a lag by your amosha? We are the bam, a bachelor, I will see by your ayato, by your apple, by it. And my cash, 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 come out, put you for wrong, convey you. Don't require any little much. Change the cash, 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 I got a t-shirt. I think my dress along my feet or so no. Cash is to have. No rig beset our fake bay. Can't be along my pen or long by any eating of fair fake you. See, I don't make what I said about my sweet already. See, by a way, but my shaminian funny. Job a man, yard, but I can't. 
eje ko se se fun amo to ba je wi pe nkan to ma wa nbe idamu wa hala ipayi keke o lo ma wa nbe ni e ma se je ko ti e wa si amu se rara pa kon na oni awon obi idile mejeji gbodo ma ti fi adura jagun fun awon mo won na gbodo fi si waju an gbodo se istihar iya ti baba a gbodo fi choice of partner le awon mo wa ni kon lowo awon na gbodo ko pa ni inu e a gbodo si se rabura bu lori e won ni ka ma se waji lori awon ti omo wa ba fe fe e ma se pe awon mo de yi omo la jina president ni to wa nlo yin bo to fe fe omo ni to ba je pe la jina president ni ye abi sa ku president ni ba be ti omo yi gan gan fun are ti ko ba sin esin nko abi ti ko gba gbo yi esin nko abi to ti ko lodo awon bi e ti pe ti pe to e ko ti ta se agere ku ninu jo mo to je pe awon ebi awon abi awon ore awon egbe ti won ba to ba to ba se igbesi aye won ti aso ti ti jo mo o ba je pe igba ton ba si wa kan le kun le wa ta na se bo mo lagbaja ni lai se wa ji je ni e ti jo mo si re pe omo ma lo igba to ba wa ya ko ni poje ko ni posu wa la be si ni sele awon ma kejo lo a ma kejo bo a ma kejo lo a ma kejo bo igba to ba ma pe yan enu pe e je ki kaduku ma lo loto to na lu ma ko gusi omo obiri igbesi aye ati wa na ba won So, coffee, a drug, coffee, bere, but but come on, my wa. Come on, back on the key. If you want to go to back, go to she. I don't care. She only can share. She she has some money for her to buy a car. Amen. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah wa hayratma. Jazakum Allah. She has told us that conflicts are meant to be solved first at the Jamaat level, then at the district level, at the regional, which in all those places they are not able to do it, then they refer to the national and to the Islai committee, which are for moral reformation of the third party. And she has also mentioned that istihar is very, very important. Very, very important. We must make sure that we pray is to her we ask for god guidance before going ahead to marry anybody either the male or the female we must make sure that we pray enough on it and while praying we must be sure that we have left our eyes open our ears open to the guidance and we open our hearts to the guidance of the almighty it's not that we are holding one thing and we are still asking god to direct us and we are not ready to leave that thing we must learn to let go for almighty allah and trust in him to be able to make a better replacement for us the said parents should be prayerful on their children and we should make our investigations proper ones it is not enough to say that uh, he or she comes from an active devotion of the daughter or the son the particular person that But we should be concerned about what that particular child is doing. May Almighty Allah guide us aright. I think we have come to the end of the interactive session. In rounding off, I pray that Almighty Allah guide us and give us a marriage that even we ourselves will be proud of and will be happy about. Because marriage for most But it's meant to be enjoyed and not a marriage that will be enduring and enduring. No, through our marriage, we must be able to serve Allah. Almighty Allah, morning and evening. Rabba no habla no mina. So I do not want to be asking no for after any watch. I don't know if you know. Imam. Over to the boundaries of peace. Jazakum la khaira and jazak Dr. Bisi Tudula Wal and all the panelists, Alaja Akindele, Alaja Badobo, and Alaja Kuti. This is Odeyemi, Jazakum la khaira. But before they go, we have some questions here. We've been trying to communicate okay. to you since you didn't pick it. Okay. So I have number one, a woman that was prepared from going to the mosque. 
by her husband. Okay, she was allowed to go to work, but just to pray, and immediately after after prayer, she must come back home. And people are now asking her, oh, Madam, we have not been seeing you at Lagino meeting. We have not been seeing you uh, in many of our programs. So what should that woman do? And in order to protect the image of her husband, can she tell the whole world that I, my husband knows that I've been saying I should not be associating with two people or be coming for Latino meeting? Just to go and play Jumat and come back home.
During, I don't, I want to claim, is it within the Jamaat or no, on no. social media? Audio, please. Audio. That's my question. I'm going to ask you. 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 Ah, then the more it all the shit along, bitch along by local look see. Since the pay audio, you see a paper video. I found messages to pay fast. I message to pay oh my she and funny. So the machine is a pad out on it. See a paper to a paper or to buy in Lano, and see a silano long by money. Any LA shape. So by the way, I did pay. Area to you, or Jack Bay, what's my machine motivation? Ask me, can you? Dicky Shay is so Jack Bay, I'm Jack Bay, oh, 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 Jetty Lano Tessie. I'm Jack Bay, what's the boss of why any no, any year, or Gino Zero Convey. I'm not about Jack Bay to my shiny, so Jack Bay will share a father and me. Let me share at a calency. More away, what's it got to brew when it will be relaxed, Shay Convey. Back, back. So much a magic way, I would draw more very as I want to draw a door. The body shape what you want or draw a long one. I told the Becky, it delay as if we say I will be go to back to share. Or she got to bring in there, ask one of the council about a party. I about if you marry a man and the man thinks that because you are working, I do not need to give you anything, no ori ba because make sure we pay mentally. Mamma, 
bi da pada fun baba wa je ka ko ka ma ri awon aruko se dada ka ma so ko tan ko wa ka ran won lowo ka wa wo bi bodo se mama se so fun wa lori awon omo pa pa lori awon omo mu tun repeat lori awon omo obe tun ba support oko e ni gbogbo oju se e ni gbogbo ona ari pe awon omo yen o ma lagbari kanu ma je o na de ma pe ti ma je won lagbara ona aso ari ko awon tun lagbara Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dr. Absalam, please, are we through with the program? Yes, uh, we, are, we are still having questions for, on Rita Nota. We have to run up by 2 o'clock to permit us to go and praise Zuri. So I think all other questions. Question, yes. Okay, the last question. Uh, the husband told her on the night of the Nephi that you no longer love her. Ah. Uh, I don't lie. Maybe Sada should have both answered this one. Ah, this <laughs> choice, my hope. I was be live in Azali. On the night of the Nikah, the um is it groom now? The groom now told the bride that he doesn't, he's not interested again, he doesn't love her again. That is the work of Shaitan. What was it? What was he doing? Why didn't he say that before the, the Nikai was solemnized? The wife should know that. That one is the only work of Shaitan. So she needs fervent prayer. She just she just ask him why, because she needs to know. That's telling her that he doesn't love her again is not the end of the thing. He should, he, she should know what really happened. What made her, What made him to utter that particular statement? So we cannot say emphatically that that is the end of faith. So she must ask. Then from there. Go ahead. Why should they go ahead with the Nikai on the second day? Is it during the Nikai or a day before Nikai? On, okay, on the night of the Nikai. That means the Nikai. No, has after been the long. solemnization of the Nikai, getting to the groom's house. Then the husband is not telling the wife that he doesn't love her again. Why? She should know. Did you ask? Uh, we appreciate you, ma'am. the panelists and the lecturer, Rift and other lecturers. So we go to the next item on the program. Sadaruma. Yes, what is the next thing? I think you want to give us an overview of a program that we have gotten from the market. Dr. Absalam, please. I say you want to give us an overview of what that the program that has been just been sent to us from Marcus. Please, you have to use your mic. Use your mic so that we'll be able to hear you properly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inna alhamdulillahi na muduhu wa nashkuruhu wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafi mulkeni Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam wa ala halimasi mahu. 
I will be live in a tour neurology between Naira and Neurofi. I want to inform us that we received a message from the Morka, and that message bothers more on our Salim and Tarbia program. Uzur is very much concerned about our Tarbia, especially with respect to obedience. And the Morkas has given us some of these topics to discuss more and emphasize more amongst ourselves. One, we have importance and blessings of Khilafat, obedience to Khilafat, the need for an Imam, explanation on the verse of Surah Fatia, then how to instill the law of Khilafat on, in our children. We also have topic on importance of loyalty and sincerity for the Khilafat, how to compose a letter to the Zura and what, Tarbiya of our children, including communication, recognizing mood, social interaction, and well being. And then finally, the mental and communication well being of our members. This shows that Uzur is very much in line with us and is following everything that is happening to us. We look at this and said, as Amadi Mufun, we are duty bound to obey the Uzur, the Kilapa of the time. And immediately we have seen this, we have decided that we will talk about it. And we have put machineries in motion to make sure that the message of Zoo is well circulated to the grassroots. We may need to put down or to mellow some of our programs in order to carry out this one, this topic. But the most important or the summary of all this topic is about obedience to Kilafa. Obedience to Kilafa. There are several sermons of Uzu. I had allowed the nursery as this that they have talked to us about obedience, the unconditional obedience to the Lafa. They have talked about the blessings of obedience to Kilafa. They have talked to us about the benefits of obedience to Kilafa. And at the end of the day, we found out that. If we have if we have all been obedient enough, the, the emphasis on this obedience will not be like this. But Uzur asked us, we see so many signs of disobedience in us, and that is why he is emphasizing this topic for us again and again. Allah says, at Ismailai Rahmani Rahim. That is, obey Allah and obey the Prophet and all those who have been put in authority over you. But unfortunately, we do not obey Allah as it should be obeyed. And also, we do not obey the Prophet as it should be obeyed. And very easy for us not to obey those people who are put in authority. If we do not take glory in the fact that, ah, how come we will not obey Allah? Me, I obey Allah. But if you see ourselves as being inadequate, if we have to be a to be a lesson, if we be a lesson, if we have to be a then we will be able to surrender ourselves, submit ourselves totally to obedience to Kilafa. So the Kilafa is the representative of Allah and is the representative of the Prophet wasalam, in our own time. And we cannot but do but to obey him. Allah has told us in Ayatu is the class, Quran chapter 24, verse 26, that Allah has promised to those among you who believe and do good works that He will surely make their successors from among those who were before them. And we establish their religion for them, which, which He has chosen for them. And we give them exchange security and peace after their fear. 
this is one of the benefits of obedience to Kilafa. We tend to gain a lot of security and we move away from fear. The world is abandoned in so many insecure scenarios all over us. But if we are able to seek to obedience to Kilafa, we gain this benefit. Also, most of us, we take the buyer, we sign the buyer. But when we sign the buyer, we just feel as if we put our hands inside paper. And when the Uzu talks to us, we see so many of us see planting the order of the Uzu. And I want to tell you that it is the consequence, it is the plan of Shaitan to derail us from our target, which is paradise. So if the, that Ayatu is a glove, ends with the saying that those people that now did not recognize the Kilafa, that disobey the Kilafa, they will be the rebellious people and they will be severely punished. I pray Allah takes away his punishment from Paul. So uh, one of the great historians also said that you know, buyer, that buyer, that buyer form that we always sign should be known that the buyer is a contract to render obedience. It is that though the person who rendered the oath of allegiance made a contract with his amir to the effect that he surrendered the supervision of his own affairs and those of the Muslim to him. So when we sign the bayat, we put everything at the hand of the Uzu. Then does the bayat or does our obedience to the Uzu, does it have any limitation? No, it does not. It does not. It is not only in spiritual regard, even in our physical activities, in our worldly activities. The obedience to Uzul covers everything. We must always obey Uzul. Should we obey Uzul with hesitation? If we obey Uzul, mm, then we have lost that benefit. We have lost that reward that we accrue to us by obeying the Uzul. So, we should always try as much as possible to obey Uzu without any reservation, without any hesitation. Let's touch ourselves as we are seated listening to this program. Let's touch in what, in any way we are, we are by being disobedient to Uzu or to the instruction of Allah or to the instruction of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then some people believe that Uzu doesn't know all, is not a Professor is not uh, all well uh, all around that. Of course, but Uzul is guided by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, who is the Al Alim, who owns all knowledge. He holds the key to all knowledge, and he owns all, and he teaches the Uzul on what to say. Most of the references of our Uzul actors and all the previous Kulafa, you have always seen that they are always in tandem with whatever is happening, that the professors of the world will come to and sit down and leave their mouth open, listening to him, that how come this man is able to say this? Then does it, can the Uzul misguide? No, the Uzul can, can never be misguided. None, any of the Kulafa, either Kulafa to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or Kulafa to Rashidin, or Kulafa None of them could misguide. Why? As a Khalifa to Masi too, responding to this, he said, no, they can never misguide, even if they have made a decision in error. But because of their intention, in normally Amolubinia, because the intention was right to guide us aright, then Allah will correct that wrong decision and will make it to benefit the people who have listened to them with sincere obedience. We should try, therefore, if you have uh, not raised our opinion, who, who owns that opinion? When, the, when Allah and his prophets are talking, Allah says in Quran that it does not behold a Muslim to say, I have this opinion when Allah and his prophets have made a decision. Then if you have an opinion that is contrary to that of Uzul, what should be done? Uzul himself guided us. If you see, okay, this is how I think this should be. This thing should be done. You don't need to be making noise all about. It is uncivilized to do that way. Then write a letter, write a message to him, passing through appropriate quarters, and your message will be, will be delivered to him. He will act as 
I had a lab in Austria. He personally, he said that if you receive that letter, he will also look at it. And if you are right, he will look at it within the context of Islam. If you are right, then he will change it. Then if he is right, he will prove it to you. That is like a father and a son talking. The love there is just too much. I don't know. Uh, we should dedicate ourselves to him. He said, I was reading one of his things, and he said, even when you people are sleeping, by the time I sleep, I will remember every country that Amadia recites. And the Udu prays for us, he guides us, all right? When I have issues in my offices or in different aspects of our life, we write him, and he will read these letters and pray for us. His prayer is enough to guide us. Remember, Allah says in the Quran that Allah says, I will not punish your people. He was telling for his monster, Salam, that I will not punish your people. So far, you are with them. And so far, they, they are involved in this thing far. Allah says, will not punish us. Now, Muhammad Salam, Salam has gone. This thing far is still with us. If you do it sincerely enough. But the representative of Muhammad Salam, Salam is with us. And that is why we are being covered. We are being protected from all these hardships in the world because Uzur Abda, Uzur, the Khilafah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is with us. He prays for us, he guides us alike in every issue. So obey Allah, obey the messenger, and obey those who are put in authority over you. Even though whoever you put in authority may not be somebody you like, may not be somebody, may be somebody to, to lower than you, we must all try to obey the person. Then disobedience goes beyond uh, uh, the promised Messiah was quoted to have said that even though we say we believe, our spirituality will stand amongst to nothing if we still have iota of disobedience in us. That is, our prayer, our salat, our tajud, our fasting will be nothing if we still involve ourselves in disobedience. Our pictures are on the, so are on the social media. Um, we say this, we say the other way around. There are so many things we have been disobeying Allah. Allah says that the bond of marriage should not be oh, rendered useless. And in so many cases, we see render it useless. So may Allah help us the more on this. Then another topic there is explanation of that ayah of the Quran. It is not surah to the We remember that the Quran, Surah to Fatiha, the mother of the Quran, Umul Quran, is divided into three parts. The first part is explanation of the praises of Allah. The first part is praises of Allah. The second part is the prayer. And the third part is our own allegiance to Allah. So this prayer, Idina Surah al Mustaqim, is a very important prayer. Uzu said we should go and read it and understand the prayer. Some Christians have mocked with Muslims. That, that shows that you don't know the right path because you always ask Allah to guide you to the right path. No, it is because they are shallow in knowledge. They are shallow in their understanding of what is meant by the right path. The word is enough, easy, that is guide us, has three meanings. Number one is to show the right path. Number two is to be led to the right path. And number three is to follow the right path. One can be shown the right path and may not be led into it. Just like somebody is asking, yes, to me, I don't know about it. But it's not led into it. The second aspect of it, okay, but if I say, you have been led to Onoibado. Then the third aspect is now for you to follow that Onoibado till you get to Ibado. So that prayer is very important in that three senses. Number one, for us to be shown the right path, number two, for us to be led onto the right path, and number three, to follow the right path until we, until we breathe our last breath on earth. There are so many people that started very well, but did not end up very well. There are so many people that were shown the right path, but they were not led to the right path. Some were led to the right path, but they couldn't follow the right path till the very last minute. We pray Allah maintain and affirm our feet on the right path till the day of Yamon Kriyamo. So then this prayer, I we have seen people, when the second caliph was explaining this part of the Quran, he said, this prayer does not only cover our spiritual guidance, it also covers our physical guidance. Many of us, when we are looking for something in the house, we pray, 
uh, if the nurse starts animal checking, and that guy does arrive, and we will see that thing. When we want to take decision in the office, if the nurse starts animal checking, and that guy does arrive, we make a, a right decision, even on our children. So this prayer is not for spiritual, it's not only spiritual um, guidance, not only spiritual guidance, you know, but even for our um, physical or temporal guidance. So we should look into that very well. Then I have on the screen here how to write letter to Usu. I think that this one is also of immediate importance. How do we write letter to Usu? This was shared on our WhatsApp some time ago. Here are some points which a guy while writing a letter to our beloved Usu. First, Bismillah Ramon Elohim in Arabic or however, write the date on top. Start with dearest Uzu or beloved Uzu. If you understand Uzu or oh, Udu language, Pere Uzu. Then do not forget to write Asalaamu Alaikum Alaikum Barakatu, either in Uzu or whatever language. It is always good to inquire about Uzu health and well being and pray for his health. May my dear, my beloved Uzu, may Allah be your helper. I um, hope this letter meets you in good state of health and may Allah continue to strengthen you. Mention about your activities within the Yomo. I am so, 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 so. I participate in this. I am also serving Allah in this regard. What we are doing, either students or, a or any profession. Now request for your prayers, for health, for happiness, for success, and anything else in particular. We share with you your emotion regarding any particular matter. And I want to tell you that he reads it. He is aware of your letter. Your letter are not trashed anyhow. They are read and he responds to your letter. Then at the end of your letter, write wasalam to conclude your letter. Remember to write your full name, your father's full name, the majlis, and the address. Include space for your signature and try to keep the letter as short as possible. Around 2009, there was letter to Zul online and it's just 10 lines. So that you just be brief as possible because thousands of letters come in every day. May Allah accept all our prayer. May Allah accept our request. May we find favor. May the prayer of Uzu be accepted over us. Amen. So we intend to share an addendum to our program in order to address the um, topics that have been given to us by the Moricas. We also, we'll be reading the book, The Need for Animal. Remember, we have read this book on, uh, on nationwide program, Salim program before. I think that was during the lockdown. So we will read it again amongst us in Lajima Ima Ila. Then we will have an examination on it very soon. Our workshop that is coming, inshallah, we intend to have these programs to talk more about it. Now, the role of office bearers. The office bearers should please and please and please. They are the one nearer to the people at the grassroots. They should make sure that all these instructions, so uh, all these instructions are well carried out, even at the grassroots, so that you can boldly say, Allah, I have delivered your message. And the people can bear witness that the message has been delivered to us. May Allah make it better understood than it was actually presented. Remember, obedience is the key to greatness, is the key to success. Whatever we want to do, always test yourself. Am I obeying the order of the Uzu? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, briefly, taking the time, but we still have to um, listen to. A short commentary from Sister Olaiwala. Please, Sister Olaiwala, short commentary of what Dr. Salam has said now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eyi ni ise lati odo Uzuruwa 
ki ona ba ko ba wa football lora emi won baba soro lori talim and tarbiya a pa ju lo lori eko omo luabi o wa soro lori obedient o n gogan ni won ni keke oro won won ni pe igboran igboran lo je obedient won ni pe igboran e bi olodun ba se pa wa lase ninu alquran pe a nigbati anabi si olodun ba ti anabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ti won ba ti pari oro pe ko ye ko je yi pe eyan lasan yo wa tun ma da awon oro na pada tabi ko ma se awon kan mi to ma ko ma gun ri kuro ni bi awon eh gbogbo awon ase ti won pa wa so won ni fun ide yi a gbodo ma gboran a gbodo je ni to ma gboran si olodun ba lenu ki a ma gboran si anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lenu ki a si ma gboran si khalifa wa ta mo wi pe khalifa won ja soju olodun ba lori ile won ja soju anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ni ori ile so ka ma gbo gbogbo awon kan ti won ba nba wa so leyin na ka de ni ife ododo ka ti duro sisin pelu awon oro si won ba wa so won wa ni pe kini ireji aigboran won ni ireji aigboran gege bi usu wa se so o na ni wi pe ah pe ni ti o ba gboran o di dandan ko ni ifiya je latodo olodun ba olodun ba o ni fiya je wa so fun ide yi ka ri wi pe an tele ase ti asoju olodun ba lori ile asoju muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ti won so fun wa na be na ni lori bayat wa ta mo wi pe bayat ta nse ni abe uzuru wa ka run fi awon wa bayi ati ta ti nse ka won wi pe bayat yen o je wi pe an gba pe pe a wi pe bayat ta nse yen o je an fi a so ara wa po mo usuru ni abe usuru lati gba bayat yi o si di dodo fun wa lati gboran si alase lenu gege bi usuru wa to wa ni ori ile laye ni si ko lo ba la nlo ko ba wa lo re emi baba na so won ni agbodo ma gboran si won lenu ni gogo gba won ni opolo ma ro pe usuru won omo tan looto ato dodo ni won ni sugbon lai mo tan won ye na pe olodun ba won mi si won won si da bo ko won to fi je wi pe gbogbo ti won pa wa lase lati se ko te ye pe ko da loju ti wa olodun ba a mu da da be wa won ni ti uzuru tun wa wa fun awon tun wa so fun wa wi pe eni ke ni tun ba ri wi pe awon ase ti mo pa o ti mo pa fun wa fun wa ri wi pe ase yo ku die ka to ko ti awon olodun ko won ni ka ko letter si awon gege bi baba si omo won ni awon a da wa lo to ba ye pe eh ni ta mu wa o da ju ti awon pe ka le lo won ni awon se tan lati tele ilana ta fun won won ni sugba ta won ba ye wo wi pe ti wa ati won ni o da ju ti a mu wa lo won ni dodo ni ta won se alaye fun wa leku rere ki ya si gba alaye awon dada won tu wa so wi won tu wa lere pe si je usuru wa poro ba ko tu baba wa lo re mi na nje won le si na won ni rara o won ni tori pe gbogbo awon ti won je usuru pata lati ori awon to je kalifa Uh, a nabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to fi dori awon khalifa ti won je ti won wa ni eyin ba ma ji ale salatu wa salam so won ni pe iru a pe ko se di kankan won ti o ku na so ka wa ni ka tun alamo ri wa se pelu uzur ka tun alamo ri wa se pelu igboran si a nabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam na won tu wa menu ba aya alquran ti se suratu fatiha idina sura ti o wa ni suratu fatiha idina suratu mustaqim won ni didi na surat al mustaqim won lo tun mo si ki olodun ba ko to wa si ona ta ara gege bi awon ala igbagbo se ma nso wi pe o se je pe won ma nso ro ni gbogbo ogba je pe won si loju ona ni won ni ko ri be o bi pe itun ma didi na surat al mustaqim wi pe yo ma fi oju ona han wa yo si ma dari wa si ona a si ma tele oju ona ta ara pe itun mo surat al fatiha do gan ni eleji won wa so ninu oro won wi pe surat al fatiha o si se fun wa ni emi o de tun sise fun wa ni ti ara o n dabo ko wa gbogbo gba la le se adura yi o di awon nkan to so mi mi o tabi pe am fere ore am fere ore lodo olohun ba la di se suratu fatiha won ni kikire mo fun wa to je ka ma se aya yi ka ma ka aya yi dada indi na siratul mustaqim won wa ni pe bawo la se le ko letter si uzuru wa baba baba wa na won lo ba ko ba wa lo re mi won won ni pe a bere pelu oruko olohun ba bismillah ama ko ojo ti ya ko de ti ya ko letter to pe a ti ma ko pe baba wa ko ti ya ko ha e ni ko ma ti ma ko ti ya ko ti ya ko leyin na a ba salamo leyin na a bere alafia 
awon baba se dada le wa se dada se leta mi bayi dada o ati be be lo be yin a wa so ipo ta wa ninu ijo boya oro ijo ni wa ni o o ti ko kan mu ninu ijo ni o be yin na wa so se ta se then idi a wa tun so ibi pataku ti a fi po leta na si won le yin a wa fi baba lati pari oro asalamos ti baba a ko fun a ko ru ko wa ni pipe ati eh yeah la jina fi abita belong fi awa then leyin e ba won tu wa ni kike wi pe eh office kokan ta wa pe awa ta je ta di eh office po mu ninu ijo won ni agbodo ma gboran nitori pe igboran ko oni kokoro ori re fun wa assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Yes, we understand that this period is supposed to be for Zul prayer, but we just want to quickly round up so that everybody will be able to go and pray and then have our lunch. Um, on, at this point, I want to say Jazakumahara to everybody that has come around to Yokoro for this particular program. It's been um, a wonderful moment and we have all enjoyed all your contributions so far. And then to those of us that are at home in a different mosque, I want to appreciate you too. Jezakumullah Haira, I pray that Almighty Allah will make all these lectures that we have listened to, to be um, instruments of progress in our lives. Um, and then I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lay hands on all our marriages. Those of us that have been there for decades and those that are just starting, even the, those that have just started today, May Allah continue to be our guide and guide because it takes the glory of Almighty Allah to make a perfect marriage to happen. So may Allah continue to um, perfect all that concerns everybody. ti <laughs> Let us see. One is born. Your man's one is born. Also, you are born ruler. And uh, the Quran has made us to understand that obedience is the key to success. When Allah subhanahu wa taala he said it in the Quran, when He has decided something, along with His prophets, we don't have anything to argue about it again. When our uzo, whatever He says, it always come out from the Holy Quran and and their deeds. So, what again do you want? I started the, my speech by telling us that we should make his sermon, the, his holiness sermon, to be our guide. We should listen to him. Whatever he has got to say is to better our lives. One one wasikonga, Islam, Amadia Tibuawa Teseboyi, alone, he was looking for no proof. Elias, you know, I wrote you. I want my wow, Nisha Timoloto, because our children are tomorrow. And here in the Quran, Allah says, Take note of what you put forward concerning your tomorrow. So, Tio Olawa Bati Gun, Bubu, Bestia, Wabuni. And it's not tomorrow that is Sunday. It is not tomorrow that is Monday. Our future goes beyond what we live here. Our future, our that tomorrow goes to the hereafter. And our Azura said, one of the prayers that he has instructed to be reciting is Rob Banner, Hatina, Fidunia, Hasanatawa, Vlachiraj, Hasanatawa, Kinaza Banner. That is, we want the goodness of this life and the goodness of the hereafter. May Allah perfect all that concerns us. So we have to move on to closing prayer by Mommy Abdukodi. I don't know if she's online. So, um, check if he's online. I mean, if she's online. Who is online? 
to give us closing prayer. Yes, sorry, I can see that Dr. Mrs. Diko is online. Please give us closing prayer, ma. Dr. Mrs. Diko. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, ma. Let me first of all say jazakumullah ila to Sadi Asaiba and the planning committee. In fact, I'm very, very much happy. The young shall grow. New hands, are, new hands are coming on board. I'm, I'm very, very much fulfilled and happy. May Almighty Allah continue to be with us and answer us her prayers. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Allahumma baraka la Muhammad wa la ali Muhammad kama baraka la Ibrahim wa la ali Ibrahim na kamidu majid robana robana hatina fi dunia sanata wa fi la hayrat la sanata wa kina azaba not subhana rabbika rabbil sati ya moya sifu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa alhamdulillah wa alhamdulillah rabbil alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh